getting good weird for you. Little, no. We're, we're going to keep getting weird little nuggets like that, and it, none of it's going to make the cut ever. No, good for you. <laughs> good for you. I just, oh, God. Now you're, so. Now it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> no, you know, so, you know, you get, like, real nervous, you get the bubble guts. You know what I'm talking about? And that's, that's like, like, leading up to this, I was like, man, just, just all day I've been sitting, oh, <laughs> <laughs> good God. I've been sitting here setting up cameras and mic, and uh, <laughs> I just couldn't hold it in because I'm I'm just so excited to now be you've here. You've been crapping your little panties for the past hour and a half. I have. It's ridiculous. Oh man. Okay, so we're getting some traction on Twitter. Oh, are we really? Get well. I mean. <laughs> You're like, I it's got the, a like. It's we're the third traction. like. It's the third like. <laughs> One of them's me. <laughs> Have you liked my post? Yeah, I liked your post. <laughs> okay, well now I'm up to four. Oh, okay. Well then you're at four. Praise God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. So there's that. Yeah. No, I'm getting I'm getting likes. Well, dude, glad somebody I, is. To, <laughs> <laughs> so to me, like ten likes on Twitter. Is you the, blew up. Is the, um, <laughs> <laughs> Did you not feel that way? <laughs> yeah. No. I've got nine on my, hey guys, I'm not going to be posting for a while because of some life yeah. changes. Yeah, the depressing way. The, like, <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're like, fuck my life, and everybody's like, yes! Yeah, I, I love this guy. Yeah. He's vulnerable. He's so real. He's vulnerable. He's real. He's hashtag real. That's raw. That's raw, man. He's just like a big... Big walking pile of flesh. <laughs> just, just, um, what's the word? Sensitive to everything right now. Yeah. Like, throw some salt on him. He's you just shrivel up like a just little snail. Like a little slug. Slug. <laughs> I guess snails have homes. They can dodge the salt. Yeah, they got little, they got little, <laughs> little salt uh, shield. Little cocoons. I'm glad we're doing this. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm glad you thought of this. This is this is really well. Yeah, I'm glad that this was my idea. Yeah, I'm quality really... content, shitting our pants and talking about slugs. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I'm so smart. I'm glad this was all my idea. So glad we outlined this first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That we were going to do this first. Yeah. We were just going <laughs> to roll with this. Okay, I've got my magnesium <laughs> to calm me down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I don't know. Yeah. Hit it now? Yeah, I, th I think we hit it now. I think we're pretty comfortable. <laughs> People are like, hit what? <laughs> hit what? Hit the intro. The intro. Mofos. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, that's your cue, man. That's my cue. You're I'm driving trying... the ship. I'm just riding along. <laughs> What's the phrase? I'm, I'm screwing this dog. You just hold the head. <laughs> That's some deep south shit. Like mm -hmm. I didn't say that where I grew up in South Carolina. I don't remember that. <laughs> well, you're originally from Anderson, South Carolina. No, but you you you've lived other places, right? For like a couple of months, way later in my life. Okay. Yeah. But yeah where yeah. was where was it? Wyoming. Okay, so that's so not South Carolina. I mean, it's, it's like I lived in Wyoming yeah, for, a, for a spell. Yeah, for a, for a summer. And I went up there and they're like, hey, pronounce this. And I was like, South Carolina. And they're like, yeah, South Carolina. And I was like, I, they did. They did. They were like, say this, say that, say it again. Did you talk to a valley girl? Every <laughs> single person that you spoke well, with? Every one of them. Wyoming's a completely different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they did. They did. I'd walk around and be like, say that. that I, we like the way you talk. And I was like, I don't have an accent. Like, <laughs> I ain't got no accent. Yeah, I ain't got one. You got no daggum accent. What oh, yeah. you talking about? <laughs> Salutations, good people. Welcome to the CS Podcast, <laughs> where we create stuff, or if you're Trey, create shit. And uh, today, we've got our hands absolutely full with the inaugural. Inaugural. See, I was looking for that word earlier. We talked about this. I couldn't figure it out. He brought it up, so. 
Uh, because professional wrestling is full of the word inaugural. Yeah. Anytime there's a match that is one of a kind or it's the first of yeah. anything, they call it inaugural. Like, they love that word. Like, wrestling and big words yeah. go together so well. And how do you know this? Because... <clears throat> I, uh, I I play a little role in the world of professional wrestling as a... Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're just now, like, learning this for yeah, the first two time. two years of friendship. You figured I'd learn it by now, but whatever. I guess um, this is my inaugural epiphany. An epiphany. An epiphany. An epiphany. An epiphany. So, yeah. Uh, involved in professional wrestling for... Oh, God. What are we at? What year are we at? 15, 31. So, 16 years. Okay. 16 years in professional wrestling. Way too young to get involved into that world. Yeah. Not a world that a 15-year-old needs to be a part of. But it shaped who you're looking at and listening to today. So strap in. <laughs> strap in, As strap Bob- on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking the dog. You're just holding the head. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, so that's how I know that. Okay, and uh, so today we're going to talk about why we're doing this podcast. Yeah, um, it's to create stuff, or if you're Trey, create shit. And we're going to get into, um, I don't know, just our motivation behind starting this podcast yeah. and and interacting with all of you good people, mm-hmm. and you know, it just w- what it means to be a creator what it means to each individual to create their own content. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, and how important that is just to yourself. Like, as I was talking before we actually got on mic, you know, the hour and a half that we spent talking, that we could have captured on all of this. We could have captured. (laughs) Could have. We didn't. Um, Just, I think it's important for people to create. Just, I, I, I think that people were made to create. Like, it's just something that's good for us to do. Whether or not you're good at it, that doesn't matter. And I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's as simple as like, when I say create, I don't mean well, go good out is you, subjective. Too. Well, yeah, true. And I, I don't mean like you have to go out and, you know, you know, create a Jackson Pollock or, you know, be the next Da Vinci or, you know, the next Mozart. You don't have to create, like, it doesn't have to be art. Cooking is creating, you know, just, just you just need to create something, something your, that's meaningful to you. Your craft. Yeah, Exactly. So I don't, I don't know. I just I, I feel like it's really important, and I think more people should do it. And there's there's this kind of stigma. Like I found myself in it for a while. Is like well, I'm just not that creative. Bullshit. Everybody's creative. Yeah. You just have to figure out what your outlet is. Right. So. Yeah. I, I agree. My outlet has been anything from professional wrestling mm-hmm. to uh, theater for yeah. a, a quick little <laughs> little spell. God, I've used spell twice. <laughs> That's okay. I, you're a Harry Potter fan. True. Yeah. I. Um, oh, maybe. I. May, I, 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 I. I. Sorry. I, I need to. That needs to be a thing. Yeah. At some point. Um, but no, whether it's that, I've, I've gotten into cooking. Yep. And I've kind of started to add my own flavor, mm-hmm. pun intended, my own little craft to uh when it comes to cooking yeah uh sam the cooking guy shout out to you uh my inspiration for cooking and uh, yeah just create something create something new anything anything Mm -hmm. i mean it can be your job it can be your business create something new create a new flavor of of just whatever well and i think it's dangerous for people to just fall into that nine to five rut nothing wrong with a nine to five it's just if that's all that you're doing if you just nine to five come home eat sleep and you're you're not doing anything else you're 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 not really living you feel me like it's just yeah you, you stagnate and you just you just run into this routine you're just going through the motions i don't want to use the word decay I mean, it's but kind of. It, I mean, it, it's appropriate if you're not fulfilled. Yes, if you're fulfilled. Well, yeah, was, some people that's what they do and they love it. And, yeah. Hey, more power to you. Exactly. I mean, if you can go to your job and you're a, you're a janitor, you're a gas station attendant, mm-hmm. you're a waitress, you're a server, whatever, and you get filled up by serving somebody. Yeah. And those people looking at you going, man, you've been the best server that I've gotten all year. Yeah in any restaurant I've ever walked into and that fills you up and you go home with a sense of satisfaction. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's a form of creation. You, it is. You've created a good experience for somebody 
through your own craft. That's a good point. And if you're fulfilled, then mm. awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. But if you come home and you're just like, uh, another day on the grind. Well, that's where you that's where you stagnate. You're not doing, I mean, that's where you fall into that rut, where you're just going right. through the motions. That's the problem. <clears throat> the problem is not a nine to five. The problem is if you're just going through the motions. Yeah. If you're just living this because you're just like, this is what I do. I work this job, I come home and I eat, and that's that's my life. Because I get this check. I mean, if you're okay with that, that's fine. You know, it's just, you you could do anything. That's a big if. Yeah. If yeah. you're okay with it. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, cook or something. You know, like something to just, yeah. just break up that monotony. I just, I don't know, I feel like human beings just need to, just something. Well, we used to thrive on a world where everybody kind of had their own trade their own like well not just trade but like their own business yeah like in little villages i mean you know the butcher mm-hmm. you would go to him um and, and you might be a seamstress yeah to make clothes the butcher would come to you for clothes like everybody did their own thing yep. there wasn't just somebody who worked for somebody it, it, well, it comes down to the corporation that's what it is where you excuse me you're like this cog in a machine you know and everybody it's it's you and 59 other people that are all churning away at the same thing, you know, little rats and a, you know, you're hamsters, just, oh, little, in a wheel. hamsters in a wheel. Thank you, not rats. Yeah. <laughs> rats in a maze, whatever. It's fine on my range, I, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, it fits. <laughs> I'm gonna have that in my head the rest of the good, the rest of the podcast. <laughs> that's awesome. So, that's what we're doing. Yeah, we're we want to inspire. We want to create. Um, one thing that we definitely want to do is to highlight a creator that we deem. Yeah. And, and when we say creator, like anything, you know, anything, you could be a, a, a cook, a woodworker, a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's going to be a thing. Yeah. If I'm going to sit like this the whole time, then yeah. You know, whatever you want to create. <laughs> Create better spines, <laughs> create better posture, health. That's something I've been trying to work on is my posture, like real talk. Especially, man, after I, I drove over here, that like whatever that spasm was in my back where I was like, oh, I'm going to die. Like the whole ride over, I was like, posture. Like, I, I pulled my seat up and everything because I was like, I was like, nope, not throwing my back out tonight. I got stuffs to do. Like, I got a podcast to create. Yeah. I've got an inaugural episode to shoot. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've got to create shit. Like, yes. <laughs> That's so good. Um, but no, we want to, at least once a week, yeah. which is how often we plan on doing this, unless we increase it. and yeah, Which is possible. We could. Very we'll possible. Um, but we want to highlight somebody who we deem, uh, not that our opinion is the end-all, be-all, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. <laughs> somebody that you and I either know, respect, you know, or... Yeah. And not, I want to try and, and this is just me, like, I don't want to look at, not that there needs to be like a subscriber cap if we go to YouTube or something, but like, right. like something, some, someone, you know, more underground, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be like, and our featured creator of the week is Gordon Ramsay. Like, you know, <laughs> like everybody knows Gordon Ramsay. Like, fuck off. Of course you do, you donut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, you know, somebody that deserves that recognition that is not getting recognition, in our opinion, you know. Right. And and maybe, just maybe, if we can get ourselves to a level of, you know, I don't know, a certain level of recognition, prominence, yeah. whatever, then just maybe we can help elevate said content creator. Exactly. I mean, that's um, what it's all about, Right. I think that's what all of this should be about, regardless of what you're doing. Not even this podcast, but we should all be elevating each other. If you're, you know, especially fellow people in your field. Exactly. Especially in your field. Yeah. I mean, people should just be elevating people regardless. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't wait to talk about, like, I don't know who we're going to talk about in five weeks from now. Yeah. But if it's a, if it's a freaking, I don't know, a high school baseball player. Yeah. Who's trying to make it. Yeah. Uh, to the college league, and he needs some kind of recognition, or maybe he doesn't. 
Maybe yeah. you just need support. Yeah. And and that's where we come in. And maybe we have some kind of following to where we're able to do that. Yeah. That's that's what is going to motivate me to take what we're doing to the next level. Exactly. Is to bring recognition up because... Well, we grow together. Exactly. Exactly. And a famous man once said, or not so famous because he wrote a book on personal development and that's those aren't the most say, popular yeah, books. Yeah, they don't sell well. Um, he said... Uh, <laughs> They sell well to the people who need them. Oh, yeah. Or who want them. So who wants um, them? Right. Who need them. Um, the people that come to mind that need them that don't read them. Okay. Well, everybody needs it. If you're watching True. and you're not reading some type of personal development book... I don't need it. Don't need it. You don't need it? Nope. Nothing you need to improve on? Absolutely not. You're perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I create shit. I get it done. I'm perfect. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> this is water by the way all I drink is water yeah occasionally occasionally Sprite but that's water with vodka hold the water <laughs> that's, that's I mean this whole thing is just straight <sighs> vodka just straight yeah just I mean it was filled up here like 32 ounces of vodka yeah, for this it. guy is I'm just, just I'm good I'm set nothing. I'm comfortable I've got my magnesium he's got his <laughs> vodka we're ready to roll <laughs> Let's create shit. Let's do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. But no, we want to highlight a creator of the week. Uh, that's what we plan on doing. We've got one for this week. We our did. inaugural we one. Yes. And we both, we both like this individual and uh, value his work and value what it is he is doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is, I'll just give a, give a slight spoiler, he is in the horror narration yeah. uh, realm of things because... Um, go ahead and talk about Spook You a little bit. Oh, Spook You. That's a, that's a thing that I do. I create shit. So <laughs> I'm just going to... It. No, never mind. I'm not going to do that. I was going to say, if you're watching at home and you're taking shots, every time I say create shit... <laughs> I mean, promote the name of the show all you want. Yeah, yeah. It can be either create stuff or... Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. You're PG, it's create stuff. Anyways, so yeah, I, I you know, Spook You... Uh, I almost said podcast, not podcast... Uh, it's a YouTube channel that I created. Um, basically, I, I do horror narrations. And uh, I didn't bring him with me. I almost didn't. I'm still kicking myself that I didn't. But uh, I was going to bring my, 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 how do I put this? My, my host, my, my. Your host. Yeah, my host, I to guess. Me, I was going to say co host, but he'd probably take offense to that. <laughs> um, so my host, Barnabas, and for those of you that do not know, Barnabas is a two-foot-tall green monster, um, and he is the master of mayhem there at Spook U. All sorts of troubles. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of what I do. He intros and outros the show for me and basically builds up my audience and is my hype man. Um, again, he'd probably take offense to that as well, <laughs> uh, because Spook U is all about him. Go figure. I mean, it is. It, it, it is. I mean, I might be a little jealous. The, the tweet that you and I both just sent out, yeah. I mean, the spooky logo was is is one hundred percent Barnabas. Is one hundred percent Barnabas. How many logos has your face been on when it comes to spook you? No. Approximately zero. Approximately. Yeah, absolutely jack shit. <laughs> right. Nobody cares about me. It's it's all Barnabas. But uh, so yeah, I narrate horror stories that I pull from uh, the Reddit community. And I do, I want to I really stress this really quick. Uh, for those of you that may be thinking about getting into the horror narration, like maybe you like it, you know, maybe you listen to some bigger names, like, I don't know, my inspiration was Mr. Creepypasta, like that got me into horror narrating. You know, if, you, if, if, if you've got any of those uh, inspirations there and you're just like, this is what I want to do. If you're going to narrate stories, you either need to write your own or you have got to ask permission. Like, Hands down, there's no way around it. You've got to do it. Because it's, 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 people look at Reddit, and I'm going to get on my soapbox here for a minute if that's okay with you. Um, Have at it. Okay. It just, it ties in. So people get on Reddit and they're like, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's public domain. It's, it's free use. I can, I can just take this story and use it. And that is not how it works. Reddit protects their users. Unless the subreddit says specifically that these stories can be used and that they, that the, that the rights to the authors, like by posting their stories there, they're granting permission, right? right. You know that I wouldn't very have very confusing, but well, I wouldn't have taken it as that. Yeah, 
A lot of people do. A lot of people get into this and they think that they can just hop in, find a story on Reddit, and just read it. And that's that's not the case. Now, there are certain subreddits for that. Um, you've got r slash free horror stories. You've also got r slash story submissions. Those are the top two that I can think of off the top of my head. Those, the authors, when they post there, their work, they're, they're posting there for it to be narrated. That is that is mm. the purpose. They know that. But when you go to r slash no sleep, your r slash scary stories, those types of subreddits, you can't, let me stress this, cannot use those stories without contacting the author and, and obtaining permission before it's, you record. If I can throw in my two cents, yeah. Uh, to me, if you're a if you're a content creator, mm-hmm. hold yourself to a high enough standard to where you need to be asked permission. Yeah, like you've put a lot of time into it. Mm-hmm. Don't just, for lack of a better term, whore yourself out. Mm-hmm. Like at least get permission. There needs to at least be some a little bit of respect. Yeah. Well, in this whole transaction of free use. Yeah. Well, and it's it, it's respect, but it's also legally <laughs> you know like legally you yeah. need to ask permission unless right. it's unless it's you know that it's public domain or free use which reddit is not um sorry got on my soapbox there but anyways no, i uh no i narrate scary stories um primarily from the you know from from reddit and uh that's what i do um i've shot a you do a it well oh, you, you do it well by thank the way you. Um, I like to think so. You know, I'm not. I'm not awful. Like, <laughs> no, the, the the time and effort and the the attention to detail that you put in, yeah. is what keeps me listening to your stuff. Thank you. Like, I mean, I'm I'm subscribed. You're a buddy. Uh, has there been days that I've just clicked on a video just to like it because I don't have time to listen to yeah. it? There's been those days. Just play it in the background is all I ask to get me the watch time, but you can like it. Like, <laughs> I've listened to so many of no, your I stories. I know. It's ridiculous. I mean, and it's been for over a year now. And the fact that you have a mascot, the fact that you, I don't know, That's, just, oh, go ahead. just your comments. Like, oh, like yeah. to me, the, the, the fan interaction, when somebody comments on one of your videos and then your detailed response as Barnabas... <laughs> Not yeah. just as Trey or as Spook You, as Barnabas. And, I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like, just go to Spook You on YouTube, find him, find the green monster, that's the <laughs> logo, and go to any of his videos that has a few comments and look at the way he responds. And, I mean, there's going to be a book. There's going to be, like, a whole chapter of a response to his fans as Barnabas. Like, he didn't have to do that. Like, it's not going to... It's probably not going to generate any more money or any more, I don't know. It doesn't generate money, just to throw that out there. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. That, that's a testament to your, uh, just your dedication yeah. to your craft. Well, I mean. It's not about the money. It no, is about not. creating something. It's about fulfilling something for yeah. somebody else. Exactly. And that's what I, I, I try to do. You know, I mean, it. it there are days where I struggle with it and it, it's hard and I have to remind myself I'm doing it for me, but I'm also doing it for those that watch, you right. know, like, like, like you say, when I go into Barnabas, like, and I comment as Barnabas, like, I know, like they get a kick out of that. Like, you know, it's, it's right. just fun. They and it's, it's fun for me, you know, especially if they comment back and I can go back and forth. Like that's even better. Like, right. like I get a kick out of it. They get a kick out of it. Everybody wins. Uh, Barnabas is a, a beast too, just because just just his evolution, um, <laughs> you know. Because I've I, enjoyed the evolution of Barnabas. Because <laughs> Barnabas, I just started off and I was like, he's the host. He's just yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna be my crypt keeper, you know. For those that were wondering, it is heavily inspired by tales tales the t- tales from the crypt. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Um, and 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 what is what is Trey's title? Oh, uh, my vivacious voiceover virtuoso. God, I never get tired of hearing that. It's a mouthful, and it needs to be a mouthful. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just that's just the way I work. But uh, to me, that is so pro wrestling. Yeah, like that is <laughs> like Billy Graham was the man of the hour, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour. There you go, Billy Graham. And I like I like alliteration. You'll find that in a lot of my stuff. Alliteration is just something. I, I guess it's because I grew up with you know Stan Lee and Marvel okay. comics and stuff. Alliteration just. It just hits that for me, just right in the right spot, and I just love it. Yeah, it's just so, so satisfying. But uh, yeah, Barnabas just his growth and just he started off as just ah, eh, he's just gonna say some funny stuff and just that'll be that. And he's kind of turned into a diva. 
and I don't know if that's his doing or mine. Like I've I've, I've almost kind of blurred the line at this point. His doing. <laughs> yeah, like I like I start writing for Barnabas, and it's like I'm possessed by just the soul of Barnabas, and it just it just comes out. <laughs> Okay. You ever been that like into something and you just you just you just go and it no. just all of a sudden no, you're I get there. It. Yeah. That that's kind of Barnabas for me. Like he has evolved. Like it wasn't me going, Well, he's gonna be a diva and he's just gonna do this. It just kinda happened. That's um, so funny. <laughs> yeah, and his like, little spa day. Yeah, oh god, I forgot about that. That was, was a little funny t- one. Yeah. He had a towel on, didn't he? Yeah, he had a towel point. on. Yeah, it was okay. his day off. It was <laughs> Barnabas' day off. Yeah, he was singing in the shower. That's fantastic. <laughs> that was a That's long so intro, by the way. I cut that. I quit using that one because it was like two and a half minutes. It was it was a long intro. Um, but in one of the videos or somewhere, and I think I posted it to Twitter at one point in time, you can just watch him singing in the shower if you want to. In your own Twitter, at SpookU. At SpookU Videos. Okay. At, at SpookU Spook was taken. Some asshole already had at SpookU, and it's a dead account, and I can't get it, but I'm at SpookU Videos. Yeah, I get tagged all, like like... Um, people do it all the time on Twitter. They'll be like, at Spook You. And then they'll be like, why didn't it? Oh, that's not you. And I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. It's an Interesting. Asshole. And it's a dead account. They've got like one follower. It might be me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep tabs on them. Nice. Um, anyway, is this enough about Spook You? Like, I, th- I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good, pretty general. good summary. Yeah, that's a, that's a good summary. What What is it that you do? Um, I think, I think we've, I mean, we haven't skirted around it at all. You wrestle. Yeah, He's professional there's, wrestler. There's that. We've talked about that. What else? What else do you do? So I wear a few different hats. Um, when it comes to creation, mm-hmm. I love to stream. I started streaming. I guess in the neighborhood of three, three and a half years. Yeah. At this point, and I've not been consistent due to just life here and there. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll expand expand expound upon that. Yeah. Over the duration of this podcast, yeah, you'll I'll, figure it out. Yeah, we'll 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 get there. Um, as to why I've not been consistent, however, um, no, uh, I started out streaming on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, from the wrestling thing, from the whole entertaining side of me, I, yeah. I really wanted to stream. That way, I could reach an audience at the click of a button because I sense. I wanted to stream. However, it's been a challenge since day one. Not having a live audience. I'm used to a in-person live audience. That's a different kind of energy. I mean... Oh, yeah. And for those... I mean, I've been in front of a live audience. Like, it's... If you haven't, it's it's a rush. Like, I know you can attest to that. It's, it's, it's different. It's a straight-up drug. Mm-hmm. Straight-up drug. Something that, that's going on in the brain that makes you feel like you are taking some type of... Some type of stimulant. Some type of feel-good, you know... Mm-hmm. And you eat off of it oh once you yeah. get once you get a little once that confidence comes mm-hmm. that's where the magic's at yep once you get a little bit of confidence in front of a crowd in front of an audience oh it, you're off to the races yep so we have a wrestling show saturday that you do you yes do. and i've not renewed my wrestling license so i'm probably still just going to be a manager that's fine i'll probably put on- still there uh, oh, yeah, just going just out in yeah. front of the crowd is still such a rush. Yeah. Um, I'm probably still going to put on the self-tanner. <laughs> okay. Probably still going to put that on. And uh, I'll be managing uh, Jacob Armachain. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going up against Jake Jacobs again. Jake Jacobs is just too good to have a manager? Or? Uh, I don't think he needs one. I That's mean, fine. he's got it all covered. That's fine. It is know. the experience. It's the Jake Jacobs experience. God, I wish people just... People were like, what? What are they talking about? If you about? only knew. If you only knew this guy. <laughs> you're welcome. Hashtag you're welcome. Hashtag you're I welcome. Lo- don't you remember, I love Jake. But man, is he's got this persona, and it's just it's just so easy to just shit on. Uh-huh. <laughs> it really is. He does it oh, to himself. super easy. And yeah. that's why he made such a good heel. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and is he still a face? Yes, he is. So now that he's a face, he's going up against Jacob Armachain and my and, and me as well, a man. True, that's right. So yeah, true, true. He's yeah. Definitely a face. Um, Good guy yeah. in wrestling. Yeah, it's it's fun that I can heal and and face heal and face. I've, I've I've got this lingo down now. So I've that's going to be world. something that you guys are going to learn is res, is pro wrestling terms. Do you know what you know what powder means? Powder? Yeah. Actually, I actually don't know if I know that one. Um, if somebody takes a powder, cocaine. Close. And by close, I mean not close at all. Okay. So, 
for somebody to just kind of to powder out of the ring, like a bad guy would just, he would just kind of, uh, like if he starts getting beat up, uh-huh. beat up, beat up, beat up. Okay, he rolls out from underneath the bottom rope, and he's like, whoa, like like a timeout. Oh, okay, like, kind of like, like you need to powder like your a, nose, like he's... like like a, like a chicken crap way of getting <laughs> yeah. out of the getting out yeah. of the ring. Just whoa, and then the, okay. a moment for the crowd to be like, what? You know, yeah. like look at this guy. You know, it's called powdering out. Okay, so. that's a new term. I learned that. Mm-hmm. Did not know that. Take a powder. There's so you'll find too that there are so many terms, like. It, just stuff that's like, its own language. Yeah, it's it really, ridiculous. It really is. It's like learning a second language. Like stuff that I'm like, oh, you should just. Why don't you just say this? Well, that's just. It's just wrestling lingo. That's right. just how it is. Like we're, we're doing just, this. We're doing this podcast gimmick right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The podcast gimmick. Podcast gimmick. <laughs> we're just doing this little gimmick right now. I mean, if you start like, if we get into an argument and you uh-huh. start getting yeah. over on me, yeah, which is kind of another wrestling, yeah, yeah, uh, lingo type way of saying something. Then I'll be like, dude, I'm I'm gonna take a powder. <laughs> you, you just talk to the audience. I'm gonna take a powder. All right. Um, but anyways, that's okay. I'll sell it. <laughs> I'll sell it. For the record, I don't wrestle. I just took a bomb. <laughs> you did take a bomb. I did. It hurt <laughs> in a ring that is not very forgiving. With no, I bumped myself. <laughs> that's how you're supposed to do it. Well, yeah, but that's like, how it starts. There was no like, there was no top rope, nothing. He was just like he he goes. Hug yourself. I said, okay. He goes, all right, stand on one leg. I said, okay, I, can, I got that. He goes, now kick your other leg out from under you. Chuck like, your tin. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, Chuck. Sorry, chuck your tin, which chuck I did not do and hurt my neck because <laughs> I was an idiot. Um, I mean, it's okay. Like, it and, wasn't any lasting damage. What, that's good. <laughs> and what I always say is imagine somebody pulling a rug out from underneath your feet. Yeah, and I landed on my ass. Not on my back. <laughs> I hit and bounced and went back. That's what you don't want to do. That is, yeah. For those of you that want to take a bump in the ring, not a bump, um, you know, like a wrestling bump, you you want to you want to not do that. You don't want to do that. No, not at all. Okay, so what have we covered? We've covered who we are, and yeah. and we've not yet finished talking about who we are. Oh no, not, not you asked me what it is I do. Yeah. So I stream. I streamed on YouTube. Uh, a lot of Call of Duty Zombies. That's what got my feet wet in in the world of streaming, which kept my feet wet for yeah like two years. Yeah, um, got up to the neighborhood of 450 subscribers on YouTube just from that one little niche niche. Yeah, I've always called it niche. Yeah, I think it's niche though. I think it's. I always called it niche too, and then I somebody was like, niche. "It's niche," and I was like, "Okay, well, it's niche." Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't like niche. I like niche. That's fine. It's you a niche. niche. It's, your, it's our podcast. You almost said yours. I did. So I did. It's, it, I almost slipped up. It's okay. Dr. Shane. Um, <laughs> just don't let it happen again. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, I got my feet wet in streaming Call of Duty Zombies on YouTube. Um, garnered a little bit of a following. Switched to Twitch because YouTube was kind of crapping on me. YouTube went through a really well, big that rough was the cop patch. Like the whole COPPA thing with the uh-huh. copyright. And it was kind of like, it was getting do video weird. games fit into that? Is that child friendly? And if it's if it's considered child content, like there's, like you you can basically kiss your whole YouTube career goodbye. Well, see, I wanted to do a lot of Mario stuff. Yeah. I'm a big Mario fan. Yeah. My last live stream of a video game was Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh, yeah, that's right. Exactly. So I, I did that, and then that whole thing came out, and I'm like, it, it, it said if your videos look like they're trying to promote to children, and my thumbnail could very well be promoting to children. Like, it would be promoting to children well, and, more than it would. And it being Mario. Exactly. Mario's ready to eat. Well, it's a cartoon. Oh, yeah. It's a freaking cartoon. Yeah. So, I'm just like, uh, I, I think I might be done here. Maybe I'll post stuff on YouTube here and there, yeah. whatever. I mean, I'm sure this podcast is going to go out on my YouTube channel. Yeah. More than likely. Um, yeah, but it won't be the main platform. Exactly. Um, so Twitch just seemed to be the way to go. Okay. And I hit affiliate rather quickly yeah. compared to most people. I Congrats, already, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, affiliate to me is, I mean, anybody can hit affiliate. Yeah. Like, y- you create enough fake accounts <laughs> and you have, enough, you have a tablet, you have a computer. Yeah. Is that how you did it? No. No, it's not. <laughs> it's actually not. 
but it that could be easily done. That's yeah. why I don't I don't like I don't want to. I mean, I just mentioned that I hit affiliate, but I really <laughs> I really don't want to boast about it how quickly yeah. I did it because anybody could do it extremely quickly. Yeah, if you create enough fake accounts, it, it's just not to me. It's not some like I was doing way more num- way bigger numbers on YouTube yeah. than I was on Twitch when I hit affiliate. Well, I think that's the I think that's a trade off. You know, like. To be to become affiliate, you hit what? Just a certain number of followers. A, no, a certain number of followers. A certain uh, you have to have an average of like three viewers per stream. Oh, okay. And you have what to hit I mean? a set number um, of hours when it comes to oh, streaming. Okay. Per Never week. mind, because that's pretty much how YouTube is. It's it's a thousand subscribers, four thousand hours of watch time, I believe, is what what the magic number is. Which is way. <clears throat> way more exclusive than yeah. Twitch's requirements are. Yeah, and I mean, y- being partnered with YouTube is like being a Twitch, a fi- like a partner. Well, and there, there's like, there's no guarantee either with, with YouTube. Like, they can cut you from the partner program like that. Yeah. And I've seen it happen, you know, or they could demonetize you like that. Yeah. I mean, it, it happens it's over anything. I've seen people just get demonetized and they're like, what happened? What, what, what did I do? And it's like, you violated our terms. And like, what terms? What did I do? Right. And there's no, there's no clear answer back from YouTube. And if you get one, it takes, you know, a month, two months. Exactly. You know, I've never had that happen, but I mean, all I've ever done was live streams. Yeah. Like two, three hour live streams at a time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't know. But anyways, that's where I kind of cut my teeth at when it comes to, content creation mm-hmm. uh, as far as that goes um and I, I've, I've not streamed on twitch for a few months again for reasons that we'll get into yeah way later time. in time um <laughs> anyways uh so that's that's one of the hats i wear um i uh i'm a painter i, oh, yeah. I, I paint and you know Sometimes. I, just think, I just think the other day when you texted me, you're like, I'm painting. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you painted. Like, I thought you were in here fucking Da Vinci. On an, on an easel. Yeah, on an yeah. Easel. Like, oh, oh, oh. like, you know. <laughs> like, I did. Because like, all painters are French. Yeah, every single one of them. Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? All painters are French as well. All painters are French as well. <laughs> you just in here shirtless with fucking, like, a Patrick Swayze song going. You're just jamming. You know? <laughs> A little bit of ghost. You're just there with the pottery wheel. I was thinking ghost. <laughs> I was thinking ghost. Yes. Everybody thinks ghost when you think Patrick Swayze. It's either ghost, roadhouse, or... Uh... What's the one? Don't put baby in a corner. Is that Footloose? Don't put baby in a corner? Footloose, maybe? I think it's Footloose. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Yeah, nobody puts baby in a corner. I don't know. Anyways, those movies. Those are Patrick Swayze. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can name another Patrick Swayze... Movie. Ghost. I don't even know. Like I, I, I named Roundhouse, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, damn, was he in Roundhouse? Roundhouse? Round, was, no. Roadhouse? Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> Roundhouse. <laughs> you know what I meant. You people yeah, know what I meant. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Shows it. you how much I keep up with all oh, peace ways. You know, peace ways. <laughs> yeah, peace ways. That's how much I keep up with him. All I remember is Ghost. That's it. <laughs> Same. I I couldn't quote one line from that movie, but. I remember. I remember the pottery wheel. Yeah, and somebody getting dragged to hell. I do remember that. Like as a kid, I was like, "Oh, that sounds like a roller coaster of a movie." Yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert! <laughs> like, like, like there in the end, I just pot- remember like fucking hands grabbing up and like pulling them into hell or something. Pottery wheel and getting dragged to hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's all I remember. Well, there's your homework for yeah. the for the week, yeah. folks. Is Go watch, watch Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> Look out for the pottery wheel and get dragged to hell. I just tell you that, that that's proof right there that all all artists are heathens. They're all going to hell. <laughs> just okay. every single one of them. That's Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> there it is, man. Well, what were we talking about? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember I paint. where we were. Oh yeah, you paint. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't remember how we got on this <laughs> this tangent. So no, I paint. So if you need your house painted. Outside, inside, you know, flip side, whatever. I can do it. Yeah, you just have to pay by the mileage. I'll pay by the mileage. Somebody fucking Ontario is like, can you go paint my house? Like, well, you know. If you want the celebrity <laughs> touch. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I could Uber up there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be on your dime. Yeah. But whatever. Whatevs. 
Um, no, so there's that. Um, God, what else do I do? Um, I'm in real estate school. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> so you can paint the houses that you're selling. Don't think I've not thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good... Uh, what, what, what kind of... That's a good business offer. Be like, you know what? And, and they're like, just... Ah, mm. I buy it, but you know, I don't really like this color. And you're just like, well, I paint too. Well, here's my card. Yeah, I already have your card. No, no, no. <laughs> Look at the title of that one. Um, <laughs> you just go, turn it over. <laughs> turn it you over. Just, you just double print it. One. I side just look at him and go. Look at my card. Yeah, you're a real estate agent. Flip it over. Oh, you're a painter. I thought you. I, I definitely thought you were about to go. Look at my card. Now look at me. Now look back at my card. Now look at me. Now look at your husband. Now look at me. Now look at these walls, painted. Old Spice? I'm on a horse. You don't remember those commercials? Well, I remember the, I remember, oh, okay. I, I remember the guy on the horse, but yeah. the... Now look at that. Now look... You don't remember... I, I, yeah, I they're, in the like, back, they're in the back at me. Now look at him in the back at me. That's what I thought. I thought that's where you were going with that. You were just going to be like, no. now look at your card. Now look at me. Now look at your husband. Now look at the card. Now back at me. Now look at the walls. They're painted. Lavender. That sounds like <laughs> I should have said that. Yeah. It sounds like I should have said that. That sounds so good. He had the so stance good. and everything. Like, when he's chilling on the horse, he's like... I did do the stance, didn't you? I? Did. I remember. That's I remember the I... idea of that guy with the commercial. Yes. And, and the. That's why I thought you were gonna do it. Man. It's okay. You blew it. It's fine. Well, see, mate, that's the creator in me. <laughs> I knew that that would look good, mm -hmm. and the geniuses over at Old Spice, they already created that. Yeah, they just see so us. So I've got this mind for creating. So yeah. listen to what I say. Anyways, <laughs> all right. What else are we doing? Um, so I'm sure there's something else that I do that I've not told you guys about, but um, oh, your you play! You were in a you were in a play. I was in a play. Yeah, this well, time. you said you acted for a spell, but you were I in a play. acted for a spell. Yeah, you you were in a play as an adult. Yeah. I feel like only well, if you're in high school and you you acted, then part of me know. wishes I took drama in high school. Like no joke. Oh. 100% of me wishes I yeah. took drama in high school. Like, I couldn't I couldn't have done it with band, I don't think. Like, I think I think the schedules would have conflicted. Well, Maybe, I was in band when I was in high school. Were you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did we you didn't know I was in band? Have we had this conversation? What'd you play? I was percussion. Mostly snare drum, but... I was in a concert band from 6th yeah. grade to ninth grade. 6, Maybe 7, 8, 9. Maybe we did have this conversation. Yeah, four, four, that, four years of uh, concert band. Yeah, okay. Maybe that does sound kind of familiar. I forgot about that. Honest to God, I think in that closet behind you, two of my drumsticks are I just, I, I, I just, brief intermission. The people that are listening are like, what the fuck is going on? And the people that oh, are watching, are. look at this. There they are. That's probably going to be loud. I wouldn't play it on the table. No. But and and uh, they're, they're, they're from two different sets, clearly. Yeah, I see they're that, not, yeah, obviously. I, for those that are listening on the podcast and not actually watching, one drumstick in his left hand is white, and the other one in his right hand is like a, like an oak color. Oak, oak. Yeah. So, so yeah, there they are. So I used to have a, a red like, uh, like a pad, like a no, like a like a red drumstick that was like plexiglass almost. Interesting. Um, and it came from, um, my used to be stepdad. Okay. Um, who okay. was at a Jackal concert? If you know what? the band Jackal. Uh, so, if it's the band I'm thinking, of, I'm fairly certain my cousin plays with the drummer from Jackal now. Yeah, they, they wrote, uh, they performed uh, "Dirty Little Mind." It might, I think it's Jackal. Dirty Little Mind. Oh my God, I hadn't listened. <laughs> I haven't thought of that song in probably 15 to 20 years. Honest to God. Yeah. And yes, I'm that old. <laughs> It might have been 15, 20 yeah. years since I thought of that song, <laughs> Dirty Little Mind by Jackal. Yeah. She's got a dirty little mind. I have mind. to text him. He plays locally. Um, yeah, Jeremy Scruggs. And he, okay. he plays in a bunch of bars around here and just, just local shows and does all kind of stuff. But I want to, I'm fairly certain he plays with the... It was a drummer that was formerly in Jackal. Wow. Yeah. That's Small interesting. World. So my stepdad caught a drumstick that the drummer yeah. threw out. And when I started percussion he he gave me he, he just had the one drumstick yeah and he gave me that red drumstick i don't know where it's at i don't i doubt i still have it but yeah. i had a drumstick from the drummer of, of jackal <laughs> I, just, I just picture you with like just this one red drumstick he's like get at him 
get at him, son. And you're just like, yeah. Because you can't. <laughs> it's not a complete drum roll. Yeah. It's not a... It's a... Yeah. What's a... Oh, who's the drummer? There's a one-handed drummer. I can't think of who it is now. Oh, my God. If you know, if you're watching... Hard working Pete. You're listening. Hard <laughs> oh, working Pete. No. One-handed drummer. I'm fairly certain there... Ah, I can't think of the band. I'm going to have to look it up. Or, though, if you're listening or watching or whatever, you comment and just let us know. I'm fairly certain there is. But, anyways. Nice. Well, I'm sure there is. I mean, it's a whole world. Obviously, there's a one-handed drummer somewhere. But I'm talking... I'm talking there's a one-legged wrestler. Yeah. Pro wrestler. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Zach Gowan. Zach Gowan? Okay. I don't mm-hmm. know. He made it on WWE. Oh, okay. And, uh... Got involved in some in some storylines with Brock Lesnar See, that, okay. and Vince McMahon. Okay, those are names I know. So yeah, I, I figured you would know those names. Yeah, but yeah, he. Um, I dropped my drumstick. For those of you that are listening instead of watching, he dropped the drumstick and bent over to pick it up. You're welcome. Anyways, um, get into some ASMR. Yeah. me rubbing my sticks together <laughs> are you have two yeah. yeah i used to have one red one but i just said i wear many hats yeah <laughs> and one of my hats goes on my second drumstick <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing right now yeah i don't know what i'm talking about it's fine cool this, this is devolved <laughs> it has it this has is, went this to is ignorant dive. It, it has went to a very ignorant level <laughs> of discussion <laughs> You just had to whip your drumsticks out. You had to talk about them. I had to talk, talk about, about both them. of them. Um, what were we... How did so, we get oh, marching band and then acting. Acting. We're talking about one of the Acting, drum. yes. Acting. And, and to me, creating, acting, that was yeah. an extension of my craft. Yeah. Was acting. So acting in this play, um, I got good reviews. Yeah. The first play that I was in. And... It all comes from, at the time, it would have been, uh, I guess, like 12, 13 years of pro wrestling, mm-hmm. being in front of a crowd, having to improv in front of a crowd. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I'm sure that's a, excuse me, a huge leg up. Just somebody being like, well, I just really want to get into this. And they're, you know, it's their first play and they've never been in front of a live audience and they're having to remember lines and do this. And you come from a background where, you don't really have lines, you well, know? I mean, I've got bullet points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, having lines, having a, a, a script yeah. was like a like a cheat code yeah. into performing. I'm like, you mean all I have to do is memorize stuff? Yeah. It was honestly kind of a handicap because I do better without a script. Mm-hmm. But clearly, for the sake of a play, I, I've got to remember lines. But at the same time, it was such a easy transition. Like... Mm-hmm. You, you mean I just have to memorize? Like, that's just... Like, I had to remember to, like, involve my own personality into it and my character. Like, it was a whole new set of challenges. Yeah. It was because there was a character set for me rather than the character that I wanted to be. Like, in my world, I'm the Scottish Prince, Joshua Gillespie. But... What was that? that for was those my, that are listening, what was... I know what that is, but what was that? That was my uh, Scottish accent for my professional wrestling character. So instead of Josh Oglesby, it's Joshua Oglesby, the Scottish Prince, or the Scottish Prince. Yeah. So if you want to sound Scottish, here's going to be the first of many Scottish accent lessons. Swallow your double T's. So instead of saying (laughs) Scottish, Mm -hmm. Scottish is spelled what? S-C-O-T-T-I-S-H. Yeah, titty. (laughs) T-T. Yeah. Um... So swallow your double T's. Basically, just skip your double T's. Yeah. So instead of Scottish, it's Scottish. Yeah. Scottish. Okay. Scottish. And it's it's kind of like the whole uh, saying bacon slow is like saying beer can in Jamaican. Oh, yeah. Bacon, or or beer beer can <laughs> or ba- bacon or how did how does that go? If you no, you say it with a British accent. If you go beer can. Beer can with a yeah, with a with British, British accent. Ac- accent. It sounds like you're saying bacon in Jamaican. British. I don't know. Something like that. I know what you're talking Beacon. about. Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. But no, that was my Scottish accent, which I worked on for months and months before I debuted that character. Yeah. Um, and I've had 
since 2011, I've been working on that accent. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you need, if you're going to sell it, you got to. I mean, <clears throat> granted, people around here aren't going to know the fucking difference. Like, <laughs> well, it's a very uh, yeah. Americanized. Yeah. Uh, Scottish accent. However, I have done my, like, people on my live stream mm-hmm. who are from Scotland, they tune in because they see the name Scottish Hush Puppy. Ah, yeah. So when they come in, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, wee ball bag. Like, <laughs> uh, your yeah. accent is shite, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, you're Scottish. <laughs> so I do my accent, and they're like, ah, that was fairly spot on. Yeah. Like, it wasn't bad. Like, you're not doing too bad with the accent. That's cool. And I'm like... Are you screwing with me? Yeah. Like, am I not doing that bad, really? Um, uh, one of my friends that I trained in wrestling, the uh, Scott Stallion. Oh, or yeah. When okay. he was with me. I the, the name. I've never met him. But... The Scottish Stallion. Yeah. He's got a brother-in-law that's Scottish. Like, straight really? straight from Scotland. And um, actually, this this scarf down here. Oh, this? Yeah, okay. Uh, when Scott went to... For those of you that are listening. <laughs> For those of you that are watching, hey, hey, this is motivation to uh, watch the YouTube channel. So when Scott Stallion went to Scotland, yeah, um, he brought me back this oh, uh, cool. this scarf from Scotland. So that's where this came from, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a fantastic scarf. But I doubt anybody in Scotland would wear that scarf. <laughs> well, you know, I mean. I mean, we wear American flag stuff. So. That's like like people in New York don't wear I love New York t-shirts. Like. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because they probably don't. Probably not. I don't love South Carolina. Like, I'm not wearing... Well, I think... I don't. I, don't <laughs> I mean, that not that I've One South Carolina shirt. Like a... I don't. Well, it was free. Oh, well, in that case... <laughs> it was free. Uh, Carolina Moon. Oh, okay. They, they had a whole thing. It was like, come through... Get your picture taken, post it yeah. on social media, and you'll get a free T-shirt. Well, that, that's a little different. Yeah. Like that's that is a that is a company that has Carolina in the name, and decided to use the Carolina state right. as, as part of the logo. That's different. But if you go out and you're just like, I love South Carolina, and put it on a T-shirt, no, I'm not buying it. That's so dumb. Well, I'll if you sound I... like that, I'm not buying it either. Yeah. Hey, man, come out here buy a T-shirt. You get yourself some. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> My gosh. For those of you listening, <laughs> it's usually quiet yeah, back here in these here woods. <laughs> back out here in these woods, man, ain't no, ain't no them there uh, police out here. <laughs> um, old Barry McGunther Jr. He's funny. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. You can digress all you want. Um. Yeah. We were on uh, acting. Talking about acting. acting. Uh, to me, that's creating. Oh no! It, it definitely, it totally is. It's a craft. Yeah, it's it's such a craft. It is. Oh, gosh, you can. There's so many different facets to acting, um, and, and for for me, mm-hmm. like getting my feet wet in that, and then getting such a good feedback mm-hmm. from it. Um, I mean, literally, people were coming up to me and they were like, "So, so, what else have you done? Like, like, what's some of your other work?" Yeah, and I'm like. I, this is it. Like, I, you might have seen me as the Scottish Prince in yeah. wrestling, but this is it. Like, like I was in the program. Like, when you walk into the Electric City Play, not Electric City Playhouse, that's Anderson. Yeah. Um, Foothills uh, Playhouse and Easily. Oh, yeah. Like, you walk in, you get your program, and my my uh, my pitcher was in the program and, yeah. my, you know, a little description of me. And um, it, was, it was saying, you know, this is my first play. Mm-hmm. And they were like, there's no way this is your first play. They're like, you're, you're, hmm. <laughs> So Ryan was with me when I was told this by, oh. by somebody. <laughs> so he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this lady came up to us. Apparently she had been involved with Foothills before yeah. and she'd been in plays or whatever, but she was a middle-aged lady. And uh, she comes up to me. I mean, we're in the backstage area. Mm-hmm. And she goes, uh. What, what else have you done? I'm like, no, this is it. She goes, your facials were just so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean... Years of practice. <laughs> she just said that, and she just looks at me like with a serious <laughs> look on her face, and I go, the only response I could possibly have was, my facials are some of my best work. <laughs> and Ryan is laughing, and she's like, well, they were really spot on. I'm like... <laughs> 
I'm thinking uh, I've got good aim. Yeah, that's I, what I never miss. Like. I never miss. But no, I'm like this lady didn't just say. I mean, she's middle aged, so she's probably not. Yeah. You know, as well, as I, as much of a degenerate as I am. Well, and I'm sure, just like in wrestling, you've got terms in in in, in acting and and in, in, in the world of plays. Yeah. So, you know, facials does not carry the same connotation in the world of acting as it does in, you know, the world of acting and Pornhub, you know? Like, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, no, she said that, and I was like, I mean, that's what I kept hearing was my, my facial expressions were on yeah. point. And uh, the biggest thing I learned from that experience was, you know, play to the old lady in the back row. Oh, yeah. okay, I got you. So if you think you're being too expressive, if you think you're being too over the top, you're probably not being over the top enough. Yeah. So, like, play to the old lady in the back row. Yeah, because she can't see you and she can't hear you. Exactly. So be extremely loud, be extremely boisterous, and, and whatever it is you're doing, you know, make sure you're a little over the top. Yeah. And if you think you're over the top, you're probably not over the top enough. So... That was such a good lesson, and that's what I teach in wrestling. So when it comes to wrestling, mm-hmm. another hat I wear is, well, I've not worn it for a little while, yeah. um, but I've got a wrestling school that I run with uh, Mr. Ace himself, who will probably be a guest on here I, a good bit. I, yeah, I foresee that. I foresee that, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, him and I run a wrestling school. Uh, he's been running it um, by himself lately for the past, I'd say, good year or wow. so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't stepped foot in that building for quite a while. I didn't realize it. It's been about the same amount of time that I have. I didn't realize it's been that long. It's been it's been a long time. It was like last summer. Yeah. Like not this past summer, but yeah, the one before that. Shot the Hearts and Minds. The Hearts and Minds yeah. promo video, which I know we're talking about stuff that nobody's going to get, but... One day. Um, hey, one hey, day. The, the, this is for the people that have that just tuned into our podcast and they're on episode 242. And they're like, I'm going to go back and listen and see what they sounded like in the beginning in their inaugural episode. Right. And they're like, hey, Hearts and Minds. I remember them talking about that in episode 147. Like, right. Hearts know? and Minds has evolved to WWE right now. <laughs> right? God, that'd be fantastic. But goals. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag maybe. Yeah. Hashtag goals-ish. <laughs> Ish. Um, but no. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, <laughs> I promise we'll get better at this. Yeah, we just need like we just acting. need somebody sitting over there and just be like, "You were talking about acting. We need a Shane acting dillweed." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sh- we need a Shane. We need a Shaner. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. So that is a part of what I consider to be content creation. Oh yeah, acting things of that nature, and you know my short little stint with that one play yeah which uh if you're wondering the play it was operation redneck <laughs> i played jj the redneck uh let's see how was i brought in it was but but where are we gonna find a redneck <laughs> and then i pop my head in through a screen door and goes I, I go knock knock and then one of them goes nobody's home i go oh yes you are you can't fool me and <laughs> That's how I entered, but, and I got my opportunity on night, I think it was night one, Yeah. that um, the guy who I was working with, who was an extra on mm-hmm. The Walking Dead, by the way, I oh, think you, you yeah. and I were talking about that last night, Yeah. Um, he was, uh, he played Jacob mm-hmm. in the play, and he only had one arm, he legitimately, yeah. in real life, only has one arm, but, uh, which made him a shoe-in for a zombie on The Walking yeah. Dead, and, um, I think he's somewhere in season five. I'll have to figure that out for you guys who are really interested. Yeah. I could reach out to him and really find that out if you want to see him. <laughs> but uh, he was, um, I, I got to work with him, and he called me uh, Jacob mm-hmm. at some point. And it was right before I was supposed to fall over on the couch. Yeah. Like, like I was supposed to pass out on the couch in the middle of the play from being too drunk. Like him, oh, him and yeah. I were supposed to have gotten drunk together. Yeah. And I was supposed to pass out, and he called me Jacob, and I said, "That ain't my name. That's your name, brother." Whew, you need to slow down. Yeah. And I just fell out on the couch. <laughs> and so when we got back behind the curtain, my, the director was like, "Dude, you saved his tail." You're like, he called you Jacob. Yeah. He's like, I know that had to confuse the crowd, but you just 
He said, you just look like you spun that and had fun with it. Yeah. And you just made it your own and just, you're kind of like, dude, that's your name. Yeah. You need to stop drinking <laughs> because we were supposed to be drunk. Yeah. So that to me was like, I was waiting for a moment like that. I was waiting for a moment to improv and kind of like. What's your thing, man? That's, that's where you thrive. It, it, that improv. Yeah. But I mean, before r- pro wrestling, that I would have been scared to death. Oh, like well, that, that would have completely screwed yeah. me up. But it's a muscle you work it. You're all about working muscles. Yeah. Segway. Segway <laughs> into that's my other passion yeah. is working out and being healthy. And that's, that's probably something we're gonna talk about a lot is uh biohacks. Biohacks, Ooh. nutrition, weightlifting, yeah. um, and just health and fitness in general. It is my desire to see people healthier. So I mean, their ideal bodies, maybe? Create your ideal body. Yeah. It, it sculpt your ideal body. Your ideal body being the key word there. Not not man. Not not not, not society. Yeah, society's not Playboy's ideal body or Vanity Fair's ideal body or whatever. I right. Know, cosmopolitan something. I don't know. Sure. Sure. Um, not it, your ideal body. What what works for you? What, what works, works for you? As long as you're healthy, happy, mm-hmm. and um as Seth Ferrosi would say, uh, look good naked, <laughs> screwable. I mean, I feel like I meet both of those criteria. I got married, so did something right. I could weigh in on <laughs> that just a little bit. That's not going to be funny for anybody else. Nobody's going to get that. But I could, I could expound on. Yes, yeah, I, just, I just fuck with my personality, man. That's that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. It's all there. Just tweak that. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's Hashtag awesome. Fuck with my personality. Uh, F W M P M P F W M P. Yeah. That's almost like A I H W M F. I had to think about uh, it for a second. Uh, <laughs> I had to look at the words in my head. I was like, God, how do you spell hardworking mother? For how do you? H W M F. Is that an acronym? No, wait. What's the? Yeah, H W M F. H W M F. That is an acronym. Am I using the right word? I believe so. Okay. You just questioned me, so now I'm like, or or you know. asked a question, so now I'm like, Is yeah, it? you're just trying to figure. I don't know. That's an acronym. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I was trying to figure out. Was the acronym? Okay. So we've talked about what it is we do, some yeah. of our interests, and and I didn't want to go too deep on. I, I mean, we've got time. We've got episodes and episodes and episodes and years exactly. and years of friendship until COVID takes us at a young age. But we've got time ish. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys want to ask questions, our our DMs are open. <laughs> Just slide on in there and ask me what you want. Just banana slide on in there. <laughs> Yo! That was a very bad Mario. I just think like Wah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Woo <laughs> Woo There's Ric Flair in here. Woo That's like a like a redneck Ric Flair Mario. Yeah. Love it. Listen me. Rick Flair! Woo! <laughs> that that's got level that's like an onion. Yeah. It's got layers. It's got layers. Most of my jokes do, you just gotta peel them back and figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Just bask in it. Just Carol Baskin just in just... it. Just Carol Bask in it. Um Oh, quarantine, what have you done to us? That sounds like the... a song. Yeah, he kind of does. Quarantine. For those of you that are watching on the stream, we are six feet apart approximately. We are social distancing right. safely. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, where were we going? We co- we covered us. Yeah. Um, I mean, and like I said, we've got time for that. Like, we can expand upon whatever. Oh, that's what I was going to say. If you do have questions, like, legitimately, hit us up. Like, we'll yeah. answer them. Yeah. We hey, might need to do a live stream one day. We should. Do you think we should create, like, a, like a CS podcast Twitter? Well, that's what I was. So that's one thing I wanted to talk about during this episode is what are we going to do with social media? Because we've not started it. We've not. This this is obviously like a. We should probably have this conversation off mic, but no, fuck that. Like we're creating. We're going to be creating. creating. We're going to walk you through the steps of what the fuck are we going to do about exactly. Yeah. (laughs) Is is CS searchable? Is C it like if we just called it the CS podcast? Yeah. You got to know that. We haven't even done our research. We just started filming this, and <laughs> yeah. we just assume that there's going to be a that that we're going to be the first ever podcast called 
create stuff. Yeah, we just kind of hit fuck it and hit record. <laughs> exactly. Like, we've not looked up is CS, the CS podcast, is that a thing? We may we may change this live on the first episode. <laughs> we, might, we might change the name right freaking now. Create stuff podcast. I mean, it's kind of generic, but I mean, it, 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 it encompasses and embodies what it is we want to do. The Make Stuff podcast. I probably shouldn't like screw keep, them. I was just saying I probably shouldn't start spouting like um, just free publicity. Fuck those guys. No, not free publicity. Uh, n- how to start a podcast: a complete step by step tutorial, 2020 guide. Uh, actually, you know what? I think we I think we did it. I don't. I Are don't we just now it. figuring this out on the first ever? Yeah, let me type create shit. <laughs> there you go. How to make a shit podcast. Thank you, Medium. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got that down. We've Pinterest that nine down. best podcast shit images. <laughs> <laughs> this is gold. Why don't I just do this the rest of the episode? Okay. That uh, works. Do shit podcast. Getting yourself out of a funk with Megan LeVu. Megan LeVu? Vu? LeVu? L-E space V-U. That sounds know. like a made up name. Uh, so both, we could go by create stuff or create shit, whatever we, whatever we want to be, or just see it. Mm, CS podcast. The CS podcast CS podcast. That's not how you spell podcast. Nope. Oh, that's from Duke University. Oh, Dukey. <laughs> <laughs> Are there CS related podcast? What is, what is CS? What is, what is CS? Have we stumbled into weird territory? I don't know. I don't know. Again, I probably shouldn't be doing this live. Yeah, but I'm gonna put my phone away now. But no, oh, computer science, computer science, CS podcast. <laughs> people, gonna, people gonna be like, oh, CS podcast, computer science, up, oh, create shit, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it ain't that. <laughs> It ain't that yet. So it looks like we're in the clear. So now that means we can move on to our, our Twitter handle. Okay. Uh-huh. Our so Twitter yeah, we handle. Can, we can do it. Our Twitter. Our Twitter. Do we want to? Okay. So those of you that are watching, you probably see the logo on our. Where are we releasing this? Spotify. Wherever. If you see it, it'll YouTube. be like you'll see the you'll see the Create Shit Podcast logo. But there's also one that we have. It's just CS Podcast. Do we want to use that for our? I think that would be a better Twitter logo. Yeah, it's like CS a better podcast. Yeah, yeah, the CS with the podcast. You guys will, yeah, you'll see it. I like that. <laughs> you'll see it when you see our, our Twitter handle. You'll see it when you see it. Yeah. What about Instagram? I don't, I'm going to be completely honest. I've tried Instagram, I don't know how many times, and I suck at it. I hate taking pictures and putting a caption and all. It's, mm, I've it's had beneath this, me. I've had this, <laughs> me too. <laughs> I've had this phone for over a year. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many people are like, are you on Instagram? I'm like, yeah. I am, but I don't have the app downloaded. Right. I just don't. I don't Fs with yeah. the Instagrams. <laughs> you don't. You, it, it just, it doesn't fuck. Like. <laughs> right. I just, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't. Mess with it. Well, that's, and that's a whole other beast and another topic for later, but I just, I don't really, I don't, I don't S with the social media at all. With much. the social meds. With the social meds. I don't, don't Tote. S with the social meds. Totes hard <laughs> social meds. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but I, I don't like, because I will, I will literally, I will kill so much time on there. I've, I'm the worst person when it comes to social media because I will sit there for hours. TikTok was the worst. And I love TikTok, but I would spend TikTok four or five my hours. Heart. Yeah. Which I think will be the easiest thing for us to create. We will, oh, yeah. we will have a TikTok. Yeah, yeah. We will, it, but I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to spend time on TikTok. I can't because oh, I, I know do. that I, and I will not do anything else. That So TikTok is the only form of social media that I consume. Really? Yeah. I, I'm not on Facebook. Like, I'm on Facebook, but yeah, I, I, I don't I don't screw with Facebook. Um, Twitter, when it comes to like when I was streaming mm-hmm. live, Twitter is like my go-to. I am so much more comfortable on Twitter yeah. when it comes to my gaming per, quote unquote gaming personality. Yeah, when same. it comes to Twitter, like I would much rather post what I'm going to do for the day. Yep, on Twitter than I would my Facebook. I haven't made a fa- a Facebook post in probably over two years. I. 
I post very, very sparsely on Facebook. Like, yeah. I'm talking, like, once every two, three months, you know, depending on what it is. Yeah. And it's usually, it's usually like, hey, guys, I made this episode. I made this podcast. Go check it out. Go look at it. And nobody fucking looks at it. Right. None of my friends. None of my family. They're like, oh, Tom Worley? Fuck that. Like, <laughs> uh, actually, there he? are some of you, like, there's some that, like, well, okay, so... God, I, remember, I was playing Call of Duty the other way, uh, like a couple of weeks ago with some of my buddies. Right. Um, we were in Warzone, and uh, it's coolest shit ever. I was sitting there, and my buddy Caracol goes, "Hey, Spooky, you just uploaded a new video." And I was like, "Yeah, it's two thirty. It's that." And I was like, "Wait a minute." I was like, "Are you subscribed to me?" He goes, "Yeah." I go, you got the bell turned on? And he's like, "Yeah." Like, you watch my stuff? <laughs> like it was such a cool feeling. Bless your heart. Yeah, I was like. Why? <laughs> you know, first of all, like, <laughs> but no, it was really cool. You know, that I, is I know. cool because you know most people, like most people that follow me on Facebook, yeah, I mean, and I'm talking friends, family, like they look at it and they go, "Good for you." You know, you got a thing. Yeah, yeah, you got a little you. thing going. I don't care about it. I'm not going to check it out, but good for you. Yeah, and it's so like it's so much easier and just better for my well being if I just post to a bunch of strangers. Exactly. People that don't have any any skin in the game that don't care, don't know me, and they can be like, "That sucks." That's fine. You're a stranger. And why that's do you, what think you think that is? Why do you think? Know. Why do you think that we would rather? Well, you know your friends and family. Like, and if, if they're hard on you and they don't care, it's like, well, God, what am I doing wrong? Like, yeah. like I can't even get my friends and family to watch this. But then there's there's a certain so so then you go out to these random strangers and you don't know them so it doesn't matter what their opinion is and you go here ch- check this out what do you think of it but then when they like it it's like you, you you go you go you go two ways you go if they like it you're like oh damn I'm doing good like this random stranger likes my stuff and if they don't if they don't like it you go fuck them they don't know me <laughs> what cares exactly about? okay so, so there that's, you go that's why. I, I think that's my, you know, that's my deep Because if your family it. judges you, yeah. it's like, oh, it means something so much deeper. Yeah. But if somebody else, if a stranger does it, like you said, screw them. They don't know me. Exactly. They don't know what I've put into this. Yes. It doesn't matter. Their opinion doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't take a sea of people who doesn't like your stuff. All it takes is the, the, the 10 people who are going to be loyal and that your work really resonates with them. Yep. And they're going to be... A complete, absolute follower for well, the duration of a, a new podcast. Yeah. Well, that's what we that's what we were talking. We talked about this last night. That, and this is something that I want to do. Not only with this podcast, I can do it better with this podcast because I can really just be myself. Yeah. And I can really like just like I can connect to you or you. I'm pointing to the mic for those that are listening because you're listening. Um, I can really connect with you. I can be open because I'm not sticking to a script. I'm not reading a story. I'm not playing a character like I am in, in Spook You or my Tom Morley podcast or any of that. Like Those are, those are totally right. different. But this, I can just be myself. I can talk. We're hanging out and we're having a conversation. Yeah. You know, and, and that's something that is, is important to me and that I want to try and do and I, I still really haven't figured it out how I'm, I'm going to do it on Spooky but I really want to I want to connect with my audience more I want it to be more than just like we talked about so you, you, you look at like take YouTube because and I'm going to be talking a lot about YouTube because that's primarily what I do I don't I don't dabble too much in Spotify or anything like that or you know downloads whatever so we're talking about subscribers here and people like YouTubers people get into YouTube and they look at that number and they go God I, I've got I've got 300 su- subscribers that's great that's 300 that, that's 300 Man, if I could get to a thousand, man, if I could get to ten thousand, and I'm, I'm I'm guilty of that more than anybody. I, I've I've been there, I've done that, but you know, I started looking at it, and I'm like, each of those, each of those numbers is a person. Yeah, and that's Which is that's a big deal. Yeah, and that's something I have to constantly remind myself of. It's not a number. It's easy to look at it and look at look at it as an analytic and look at it as a statistic and be like. Oh, I've, I've got 300 arbitrary numbers that means that I'm good. Well, no, that's not three. That's 300 people. 300 people that cared enough about your content to go, I like this guy. They hit like, they hit subscribe, and they wanted to keep up with you, and they, they thought enough of your content to, to, to go on this journey with you and to support you. And that's that's something that I think a lot of creators lose track of, myself included. And it's something that I want to... Same. I really want to remedy, and I just, I don't know, I want to connect more with my audience. And that comes down to the, the, the Barnabas comments that I make in character on Spooky as Barnabas 
it's me trying to connect with my audience. And when there's like when somebody comments and they're like, "Oh, this is great," or something like that, I, I want even if I've got a hundred thousand subscribe subscribers, I still want to try my best to go on to each and every one of those comments and be like, "Thank you." I, I mean, I know that's an impossible task when you you've got a hundred thousand subscribers and you're getting ten thousand comments. Like you just you can't you can't comment on all of them. But I mean, I just it's it's there. Like that that part of me is there. Like I want you to know that I really appreciate it. Keep yeah. rolling. I'm just taking a little video. Oh, are you? While we're doing this live thing. Well, now I'm now I'm on the spot. And I'm, I'm like so it. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to introduce the uh, new idea of a camera to what you were doing before. That's fine. I, I don't like it. It's okay. We'll, we'll roll. You just keep going. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna go back into it. No, you keep doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. You just roll. Okay. No, just keep talking. Yeah. I, I feel like every now and then I should just. What would have been hilarious if the fucking light. <laughs> when you, you're like, I'm like, what are you doing? It's like, bing, and just. <laughs> Bright recording light. AF light. Are you recording? Just, mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> Keep talking, Sunny Jim. But just, but yeah, for real. Like I just I don't know. It's it's important to me now, and, and not that it wasn't before, but I kind of lost sight of that. Yeah. That each of those numbers is a person. And <laughs> sorry, it's okay. I, just, I love that you hit it by like tried to hide it behind the mic. It's a and whole all thing. The, all the people now. that are gonna see on that camera is just your fucking. Pop filter, <laughs> right? The, I'm trying to keep it natural, me. but no, I know it's fine. You can yeah, keep rolling. I'll, I'll just, roll with it. It's okay. I'll close my eyes. I'm here, here and we're here when we're live. So, so I might send this out to my subscribers in the middle of the freaking show. Do it, yes. Do that. Okay. Yeah, you guys want to? Do, yeah, yeah. Send it out. Oh well, no, I guess not. Do we? Do we send it? Do we send it out now? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've got a, a Snapchat like group. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Snap, you're, that I had from before. You're on the Snappy Chats. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Just it, that's something that it, it's really important. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. You're that's fine. So rude. It's okay. No, it's fine. Just don't let it happen. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take that. It's gonna become a thing now. People are gonna be like, ah, this guy's a fighter. Don't let it happen again. And Jake's gonna be like, royalties. <laughs> royalties. <laughs> He's gonna be so bad. Royalties, guys. He's gonna listen to this. We're gonna get a phone. I'm gonna get a phone call. He's gonna be like, hey, big dog. Whoa, what's this? What's, what's this, this big, big dog? dog? Yeah, I haven't heard Jake say big dog in two years i, he, I don't even think he does it anymore but uh, but yeah like so I, i'm off on this tangent now but reeling it back in uh i don't remember what i was talking about like, i don't remember my original point but mostly uh just that i want to connect with the audience like i, I, I it's just something that's really important to me especially with this podcast no with just ba- to be able to barnabas and interacting with your yeah. with your commenters and your subscribers yeah an arbitrary number mm-hmm all of that, I, and I, I totally get that because yeah. anytime, anytime somebody would subscribe to me I'm good. on good on uh, YouTube, I really met, like to me it was a big deal. Yeah, I used to keep a counter in the upper right hand corner of my screen. I remember that. And whenever somebody would uh, subscribe or when that number would go up, it tickled me to death because I'm like, that is somebody who said, "Hey, I want to, I want to know when this guy starts playing video games." Yeah. As a child who used to play Earthworm Jim <laughs> yeah. on Super Nintendo, the fact that somebody said, I want my phone, my smartphone that I pay good money for every month, mm-hmm. I, I want it to tell me when this individual starts playing video games. Yeah. That to me was huge. Anytime somebody would donate even so much as a dollar, mm-hmm. somebody is paying money Yeah, for me to play a video game for them, like like it, it meant that much to them yeah. to, to, to just tip just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, stop it. Get out of here. Of yeah. course I'm going to turn the option on because yeah. I'm human. Yeah. yeah. But the fact that you actually donated that money. Yeah, cause you don't, they don't have to. Of it's course there, not. But they don't have to. Exactly. And I've watched your streams. For those of you that haven't seen it, like I watch a lot of Hush Puppy streams and you don't asked for donations like if nobody the only the only reason i knew that there were donations is because i saw somebody else donate right you get you but like it's you don't see like there's not a counter or anything like i've raised this much money or this many people donate there's none of that if you donate like something pops up on the screen and it says that such and such because i want to give recognition yeah no no i I get that what i'm saying though you're not you're not whoring yourself out for donations so like i can tell it's from a genuine place of like it's there yeah you turn it on because you're human but it's it's not what you're about no, it's if you feel so inclined and you want to bless me with a little monetary donation, yeah. then by all means, yeah, you're like a little like nerdy stripper. 
A little nerdy stripper. Yeah, just a little dollar in your panty line. But I just I just keep my clothes on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you just don't belong on Twitch. <laughs> I just don't belong on Twitch, pretty much. No, no, that... Uh, no, it, any, any kind of subscription or, or, yeah. or tip donation is just overwhelming. And I think the most I've ever been donated was like 20 bucks. That's crazy. And whenever I've gotten that 20 bucks, I I flip out. Yeah. Like to me that is like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Because I'm 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 playing a video game. Right. I don't like I know that there's big time Twitch streamers, big time YouTube streamers who get hundred dollar donations left and right. Yeah. And their reactions are less than really enthusiastic. Yeah. <sighs> it's not an excuse, but like I get maybe after the... I was about to say, you kind of become numb to it. Like, it's kind of... It becomes normal. You know how that is. You know, it just kind of becomes normal. Right. And you just don't react like you used to. But, I mean... I'm gonna... Like, it's not an excuse because, like, I, I get that. It, it becomes normal and you're just like, oh, okay, thank you. But, no, I, don't know. I mean, I, I, I would like to think that if ever I got to that point and I was streaming video games or something and people were just, like, popping off and, you know, like, that's normal for me to get $100, I would still flip the fuck out and shit everywhere for you know for a donation like I just... maybe it's like you know when you get paid from your job yeah you get a paycheck every week yeah you get a few hundred bucks a hundred bucks whatever it is you get paid yeah and you see that you don't flip out no you i don't, mean you do you it when you first start I guess. yeah when you first you start know? you're like yeah. oh man this job's making money but like if you get a hundred bucks you know your first week of a part-time job, like when you're 16 years old, you get a hundred yeah. bucks, you're, you, you get excited. Yeah. But after a while, it's, it, it becomes numb. Yeah. And then when you're 27, you get a hundred dollars from your part-time job and you're just like, <sighs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, I, I feel like it comes with the territory. You've got to know where this money is coming from. Yeah. It well, is a volunteer. It's not like getting paid from iHeartMedia. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's the same. The, the problem is the fact that it's, it, I mean, it's attached to a username, yes, but like the same thing with, with the subscriber count. Like you look at it and it's just a number. Yeah. You know, like there's, there's, there's a disconnect there. It's really, it's really hard to make that connection. Right. Like you, ha- you have to remind yourself that that is a person. A person did this for me, you know, like. Well, see, at our level, if I get donated from, a, if I get some kind of donation, yeah, I probably know that person, yeah, because I'm such a small time streamer. I know who they are. They've been in my yeah. chat for a while, yeah. And I've been call on them your, on your channel, exactly. Yeah, I know exactly who they are. They've been around, and and I've got a little relationship with them. Yeah, yeah you do a podcast with them. That as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's that too, but. No, if, if I've got, you know, 40,000 subscribers on Twitch yeah. and somebody donates me 100 bucks, I'm, hey, thanks for the 100 bucks, yeah. Dillweed24. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and like, so for instance, uh, like some of the bigger streamers, like, so for instance, I really got into Ethan Nestor recently. Those of you that don't know, that's Crank Gameplays, and he was with Markiplier with uh, Unis Honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so Ethan Nestor. And, like, it's just, like, to me, you know, you go into you go into a, a stream like that, and it, like, it's cool watching him, and it's live and everything, but, like, the chat really loses its, its, uh... It's not as special because people, I mean, it's just popping off and everybody's like, you yeah, know, yeah, you've got 5,000 other people in there chatting at the same time. Your message is going to get lost. Like it, like that's why I like, for instance, watching you stream or like people that are my friends or close or, you know, smaller streamers where they've only got, you know, 20 people in their lobby or something like that or in their chat. Like it, it's more personable. 20, that's generous. <laughs> well, you know, one day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Goals. Hashtag goals. Hashtag goals. Uh-huh. Ish. But, uh, you know, you get what I'm saying, though? It's it's so much yeah. more personal because the streamer is much more likely to see that. Exactly. And so, I don't know, when it's 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 crazy and chaotic like that and it's going off, I just, I, all I do is turn the chat off and just watch. And it kind of sucks. Like, it feels bad because the chat's there for you to interact with the, with the creator. And it's like, I can't because there's so many, like, you know, it's like we're all screaming into the void. Right. And, and, and to, to maybe me. he'll hear it. It makes me wonder why people chat at all. 
Yeah. When there's so many messages yeah. going well, on. And then, like, then, 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 who is seeing you? I don't understand Twitch as much, but you can spend the little bits or some shit, and like you can highlight your message or that's whatever. That's what you have to do. So when well, you get big then, enough, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Well, even then, you can't see it like because it's going so fast. You have to pay money to just get noticed. Which is... That's a different topic, but uh, I, I don't like that. But... <sighs> I mean, it comes with the territory. I yeah, get it. Yeah, but just that's that's the, the idea thing. Idea of it sucks. So it's it's almost disappointing in a way. Like I don't I don't watch a whole lot of Twitch streamers, especially bigger ones, because I'm like, well, I mean, part of the appeal for me is to is to chat with that that creator to 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 form a you know it's a semblance of a, you know just some kind of camaraderie, like hey, you know, and like talk yeah. to them, something like that. Or you know, I mean, I get there's also the appeal, like you can watch stuff in real time. So like you know, if you watch a, a back like a let's play or something, it's like well, you know, they cut that up and you don't get to see everything. But like this, you get to see it in real time. You can see all their reactions and it's raw. You good? I have to pee so bad. <laughs> okay. Do you need to take a bathroom break? I need to take a bathroom break. Okay, well, you so bad. Potty. I've I've like you talk to the people. I'll leave you with this before I take my little potty break. Um, you want me to vamp? I don't know. That's a term I heard on Unis vamp. Honest, and they're like, vamp. You, "You vamp for a couple of minutes." And I don't vamp. Know. Yeah, vamp. I've never heard it. Um, I've heard the word vamp, but I don't know. Like, yeah, I've never heard it in that context. Like just maybe I'm saying it wrong. Pop maybe, off, I'm just, maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. But you, I mean, you can go tinkle. Like, I'm not, okay. I'm not gonna hold I, I was gonna say. Uh, my mind is clouded with urine. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's so funny, but it's it's so funny that we don't cut like we we could just cut here and you could just go to the bathroom. No, we're just we're just like fuck it. We're just gonna keep it going. Like this isn't a live stream or anything. He's gonna piss all over the toilet seat because I'm making him laugh because he can still hear me. I don't know if you guys can actually hear him laughing in the background. <laughs> but uh, so anyways, getting on kind of my like back to my soapbox with twitch and everything like it's really cool and i just I, I enjoy being able to watch these streamers and these content creators do their thing i just i'm gonna turn to the camera so that i'm actually talking to somebody instead of just staring at this microphone um it's cool doing it i just i don't know it kind of loses that personal touch once they get to a certain level which i mean don't get me wrong like that's great that they're at that level i just i don't know i wish there was some way like i don't know something with the chat that that would be better suited for actually communicating with these creators. Um, and it's something like, so on YouTube you can do premieres, which is kind of like, it's like a semi-live stream for those of you that don't know. So it's, it's a pre-recorded live stream. So you would like, for instance, with Spook You, I would release a video and I would premiere it. So the video itself is self-contained, it's pre-recorded, but it premieres in real time and people can come on and they can chat with you in the chat. And I, I, I like doing that. Um, it kind of sucked at first because I didn't have a whole lot of subscribers, so there's not a whole lot of interaction. You know, I'd have, you know, maybe one person in the chat. But uh, I did I did something recently called my Frightening Nights of Halloween, and it's something I'm going to continue doing. Uh, and if, if you're not familiar with that, basically uh, it started off as me just doing 13 nights of videos. Uh, that was my first year doing it um, when I brand new, just started, had like 25 subscribers to my name. And uh, I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do something different. I'm just gonna do 13 nights of content and a 24-hour live stream at the end on Halloween. And that evolved this year, which is my second year doing it. And I expanded that to doing. Uh, I opened it up as a collaboration, so that other content creators, other horror narrators, could join in, and they could, they could be featured on my channel. Now I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but I mean, it, it's something. I just, I wanted to do something for the community, for the horror narration community. Just kind of, I don't know, something to bring us together. And so uh, I did. I did the, the frightening nights of Halloween this year, and I, I actually premiered each of those videos. So I had 13 nights of premieres, and uh, it's really cool because I've, I've got the chat, so it's live, and I can communicate with these people. Oh, are you filling up your water bottle with water? Because you're still in the bathroom. Okay, good talk. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's it's cool to like be able to ch chat with these people in real time. Sorry. Um, I don't know. It was it was neat to be able to interact with them, and so I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. I'm just vamping to to kill time until he gets done peeing, which is taking quite a while. Um, I 
So for these, those of you that cannot see, well, you can't even see it on the stream. He's actually got up here, it's uh, it's Mario, like a little Mario mural, I guess. Wait, when did you come, when did you go downstairs? Huh? When did you go downstairs? As soon as I walked out of the room. I didn't know you walked out of the, I thought you were still in the bathroom. <laughs> No, I'm downstairs to go to the bathroom. Because uh, I didn't want the people to hear the toilet flush. Oh. Uh, because we're that formal. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, I was telling everybody about your Mario mural up here with your stickers that you've made. It's mm. pretty neat. My Nobody friend, can see. My friend Philip, he suggested that I put it up there. Did you put that up yourself? Because that is like like the per... How just detail-oriented you are. And like with the, the, I mean, it's perfectly lined up. Yeah, so, no, each one, um, I think, like, those three blocks, hey, uh, or maybe that whole row, but no, each coin yeah, it can, is a separate sticker. The Goomba is a separate sticker. The block is a separate sticker. So I had him, like, seven off of it. Uh-huh. Uh, most everything is separate. Gotcha. Can you do that on mic? What? <laughs> yeah, I guess I should. <laughs> so, yeah, each little, you can't see it. It's, it's up. <laughs> We should probably show the people. Yeah, I we guess can. we should probably do that. Just, but then we'll I don't want to mess up the shot. <laughs> yeah. We can do it at the end, at the very end. If people really want to know, we can take a picture. Yeah, we can. So, so yeah, if, can if you want to yeah, see the Mario, see. almost said Mur Muriel. Mur Muriel. 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 And used his bags. It's Curse, the Cowardly Dog Show. <laughs> you know, remember that? <laughs> Vaguely. Oh, man. Oh, Curse. But, yeah. So, um, w when we get to that point, I'll yeah, let when you... When we create our Twitter handle and our Instagram... This is, that's what all this spiraled into. We were talking about Twitter and Instagram. I don't know how we got on this other shit. Right. So, um, so, so, so we need to have a... So, so here's, the, here's the big question. Do we have a separate YouTube channel for yeah, CS? So, there are, there are pros and cons. So, if, if we were to upload it on your Hush Puppy channel... I mean, obviously, you, you have 450, 460 subscribers, so it's it's a good launching point. I would, but, I mean, people... I would bet money, though, that as soon as I post something, yeah, those people are going to be like, <clears throat> oh, he's still around? We need to... I guarantee you I'll lose in the neighborhood of 30 subscribers. Oh, yeah. As soon as I post anything. That's what I figured. Cause if I was I'm... to go live, people would be like, oh, oh, I forgot I was still... Yeah. Nah, yeah I don't no. see him. I'm okay. done here. You don't have to agree with me yeah. so much, but... Yeah, fuck Hush Puppy. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right? That's what I do. I'm agreeable. Um, I mean, there's pros and cons, you know? <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could launch off a of Hush Puppy. Like, it would be a, I mean, it could be a good launching pad. I'm not going to lie. But you will have people that are like, what the hell is a CS podcast? Like, what is he yeah. doing? Where's, where's, where's my zombies? Where's my where's zombies my, yeah, content? Where's, where's my gaming content? Like, what are you doing, Hush Puppy? Yeah. But then, like, you think about the CS, if we just created a YouTube channel for the CS podcast, which is more so what I'm leaning towards, just okay. just for a fresh page, just personally. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That way it doesn't screw up anything that, like, on your Hush Puppy channel. Like, I don't know. It probably wouldn't, but just, I don't know. Well, who says we can't have a CS podcast YouTube channel? Yeah. And I can just post it on my channel, too. Yeah, sure. To help maybe drive a little bit of... Tri little, little bit of hey, you can do clips. Well, new clips. Yeah, you pull stuff and be like, and if you want to watch the rest, you can go to our YouTube channel. Because we should probably, or... we should probably do clips for each episode, regardless. For yeah, tick. Mm. That's okay. Good. Indigestion on fleek. Oh, I feel um, that. We should create some kind of clip montage yeah. dealio um, for TikTok, anyways. Yeah. Maybe a little Twitter promotion. Yeah. Of and course. I could put that on my YouTube channel and have the the main like drive it all to to the, the to main the, YouTube yeah, the main channel and Spotify, or Spotify or and Apple. whichever one Apple Spotify and Apple or, or iTunes are definitely the biggest. Yeah. I would, especially iTunes, I think, is the biggest. Um, I think I heard that somewhere. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just spouting mm -hmm. nonsense, but I, I think I'm a fan of Spotify. Me too, man. I'm a big... I've got Spotify Premium. I have Spotify Premium for... Like, like that was one of the things Morgan and I talked about. She's like, you know, we got to cut back on some stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, not my premium. Just, not my spot. Like, premiums. I'll kick your ass off the family plan and I can keep my premium. That'll cut costs. But, like, <laughs> you, you, you can pride the premium for my cold, dead hands. Like, it's not going to happen. Like The Google Home Mini that I've got mm. down in the kitchen, um, that came from Josh. 
Oh, uh, really? Uh, t- telling me about um. Me? That's where my Google Home really? came from. Yeah, Josh from was Spotify. like, hey, like, Spotify. And I was like, what? Yeah. They owe him a little bit of money. A little bit, yeah. Google, if you're, Spotify, Google, if you're listening. Google Fi. Yeah, Google Fi. Good fee. Um, I swear. I swear. <laughs> um, God, people just don't know. Yeah, like, the little inside what the hell's wrong with voice yeah, thing. I swear. The weird ass tick. Like. What? <laughs> Ace whale. Ace whale. <laughs> um, I bought the Google Home Mini with the Spotify family premium plan. As well. Yeah. Um, it's very good. Like but it. no, I've kept it. Yeah. I've, I've paid fifteen dollars a month for two years because yeah. Josh Hip told me that I could yeah. get a free Google Home Mini. I mean, I forty five dollar value. I'm not going to say Spotify got my money from him because I had it well before Josh Hip. But I did. He definitely was like, "Hey, by the way, did you know they're doing a promotion?" I was like, "I have Spotify Premium already. I don't even have to buy it." And so I was like, <laughs> "Google Home Mini," and typed it in and got it. Yeah, that's how Barnabas types. <laughs> right, yeah. right. That's what it reminded yeah, me of. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's so funny. Yeah, I mean, don't touch my premium. I, I Yeah. I, fuck ads. I, I come from a radio background. I understand they bring in money. We need ads. Fuck them. If I'm listening, though, I don't... <laughs> I skip ads. If I'm a consumer, no thank you. Yeah, yeah. From business standpoint, ads. But. So you come from a radio background. Yeah. And I... I dabbled in that background. Yeah, you, you dibble dabbled. I dibble dabbled for a couple years. Yeah, year and a half ish yeah. before the COVID lockdown yeah. nineteen demic pan. Yeah, just all of the things all of that them. halted my yeah. little experience in radio. Um, and we can expound. Oh yeah. On that in the future. <clears throat> yeah. On how how you and I met. Yeah. Was through radio. Yeah. Through, through Jake radio. Jacobs himself. My gosh. Through the grace of Jacobs. You're welcome. You're... <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're welcome. Amen. <laughs> Amen. What is Jake? What is he? He does something. What is he? I'm trying to think. Does he have like a... Oh. Humming. <laughs> that was that's what is I was. Is that what he for. says? No, but it's like like if it if if, if like Jake Jacobs was a cult. <laughs> <laughs> if Jake Jacobs was a cult, everybody humming. <laughs> or you're welcome. <laughs> for those of you not watching, we are running our fingers through our hair and flicking the uh, excess moisture gel that has sweat. been built a gel sweat. Yeah. Uh, and flicking it. If you knew our good buddy, proverbial gel sweat. Proverbial gel sweat. <laughs> Not to be confused with J J A I L sweat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, our buddy has a uh, gesture that he does. If at any point in your life you've done something radical or awesome, you can run your hands through your hair. If there's any excess moisture buildup, chemical, chemically. Enhanced. It just sounds so gross Joe, when you, you can break just, it down. Like it's it, a cool. Like it, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cool. Like he does it, and he's like, uh, and he does it with such finesse and like vigor, you know, whatever, vigor, vigor. Yeah, yeah. But then you break it down, and you're like the excess sweat and everything. And I'm like, Ugh. that's gross. <laughs> yeah, like that's awful. I hate that gesture. Well, I don't want to watch pro wrestling. Yeah, I don't, I don't want. I don't want wrestling no more. I don't want it. <laughs> Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> There's a guy on TikTok I love watching. Uh-huh. It's just his voice. He'll go up to a drive-thru. He's a he's a white dude. Yeah. Um, looks like he's maybe early 30s. Yeah. Late 20s ish, and uh, he'll go up to uh, let's just say McDonald's. Uh-huh. And he'll order a, a a breakfast selection, and he'll. Uh, I guess he kind of sounds like an older, like a really old white lady, mm-hmm. or maybe an old black lady. Yeah. I, it's kind of a mix between an older white lady and an older black lady, just yeah. how they sound, you know. And um, he'll say, "Okay, sweetheart, what 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 would you recommend I order, <laughs> or, or what would you recommend uh, I get? What, what could what could go go well with that? <laughs> what could go well with my hot cakes?" And normally he'll get like a, "What, what do you mean?" He's like, "What can go good with that? <laughs> just tell me well, what would go good with it. What my what my order was." And they'll go, "Well, I mean, you could get a." You could get a nice cold frappuccino, and he just immediately responds with, "I don't want that." <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um, I mean, you could get a you could get an apple, a slice of apple pie. I don't want that. 
<laughs> and they just go on, and he'll just finally be like, okay, give me one of them. <laughs> and then he'll pull up to the window, and they're like, here you go. And he's like, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> and they just, they're astonished. And, and normally him and the, the people have a good yeah. laugh, but it's just his, um, give, me a, give me one of them. <laughs> give me two of them. I don't want that. <laughs> And it's it's that voice, yeah. And they're convinced that he's an old lady, and they normally end up laughing. Yeah, I don't know what his name is on TikTok, or I'd my, shout my him out. My TikTok experience is vastly different. And <laughs> like my favorite TikTok, <laughs> I don't want that. It's it's so dumb, but he just it, I don't know something about him captivated me, and I was like this guy. But it's uh, I probably know who he is. Well, I, do I say the name? Because I know who he is. Like, is I don't it, think do we, it matters. Do we, do we promote him? Is it free publicity? Will he promote us back? Anyways, Denny does it. <laughs> okay. He uh, he he really got famous for like he would drink all the like he he'd take like a big you know fucking two liter bottle of soda and just chug it all in one go. Not that big. I'm over exaggerating, but it was a very large, large glass of soda. Yeah, just yeah. Drink it all all in one go, and he'd be like. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Because it's it's just straight acid and you know carbon yeah. dioxide, and he just, he finishes it off, and then he's like, and then he just burps, <laughs> just so loud. Okay, and he does other things like he creates songs, like little dumb songs and stuff. And I don't know, and he's always like, "What is up, nipple suckers?" Like that's <laughs> the thing. Like, it's, it's so... You should have led with that. I should have led with that. Like to promote burp. <laughs> To promote Denny Does It, you yeah. should have led with, he starts with, what's up, nipple suckers? <laughs> Probably should have hindsight. Anyway, that's like, like it's so dumb. But I don't know, for some reason, there's him, and then there's another guy, and I have no idea what his name is. <laughs> I'm such a child. <laughs> he'd go, he'd go, <laughs> I don't know, I can collect myself. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. He'd go, Predicting the sounds of my <laughs> predicting the sounds of my farts part twelve, <laughs> and he'd, he'd go like, eh? and then he'd let one rip, and it would be spot on. Really? Yes. Okay, that's some kind of talent. <laughs> I know, it was... I don't... I don't I just in bed. <laughs> such a child but it was so funny and there's like 24 of them I don't know what he's up to now because I don't do TikTok anymore he's probably up to 36 <laughs> fart number 36 that's gotta be what he's yeah. up to <laughs> this is the highlight by the way oh, oh my god <laughs> yeah so, <laughs> wish I knew his name Cause man, I wish I could show you just hit, <laughs> just goes. The it's, content it's, that you're referring to isn't near as funny as your reaction to all of it. Your reaction to all of it makes it gold. I need to see this now it's so funny. because as soon as I hear him imitate the sound of what he thinks his fart is gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna think of you dying laughing. Uh. Oh man! Oh, it's, it's, it's cold. Uh, oh, wow. Now where do we? Now where do we go after? So I was gonna say. So, so, <laughs> I was gonna say for our featured content creator of the week. Yeah. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you handle that whenever that time comes. Okay. I mean, do you think? I mean, I don't know. How long? Do we, what time is it? It's 11:30. It's 11:30. We've either been going for an hour, an hour and 42 minutes. Okay. I feel like that's a pretty good. That's not too it's bad. It's a good inaugural episode. Not too shabby. <clears throat> so, I mean, we can we can talk. Let you. I, I can talk. You can prep. Or yeah. if you're ready to go on highlighting. I'm good, man. I know him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah. for this episode's uh, content creator of the week, um, Trey and I both decided on this particular individual. Yeah. And um, and he is a he is in the horror community. And if you are watching this, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you're. <laughs> Big supporter of not only my channel but Hush Puppies channel, um, and honestly, great friend of mine. Like I, I love this guy to death. I got to talk um, to him the other week. At, <laughs> yeah, at, yeah, at, 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 at HorrorCon VR. Yeah, 
And now he's watching and going, oh, God. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah, not he's me. Like, Don't you got... He's so humble, too. He's so humble. He's Is most, he really? Oh, dude, the nicest guy. You I mean, he seems like... like so when he put in, like, when he... I did not ask this, but when I when I, when I I put in, you know, put out for uh, Frightening Nights at Halloween, and he, like, there was there was no, like, it wasn't like, hey, man, uh, I was just wondering if you were... I was like, you're going to be in my <laughs> collaboration. <laughs> like, it just, it just, that's the way it was. And uh, you're here, yeah, like you're not. Here. And uh, I asked narrators to put in a promo, and this motherfucker, <laughs> he, instead of promoting himself, this humble motherfucker, <laughs> he thanked me, promoted the author, and then saved himself for last. And I mean, the nicest guy you will ever meet. I'm telling you. And those of you, like, seriously, check out his channel. And, of course, I'm talking about The Hero Askew. Now, I fucked it up when I wrote his name down in the... He had to correct me. Uh, hero, it's the space. And then Hero Askew is all one word. I did not realize that. I thought it was three words. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was The Hero Askew. And then it's it's Hero Askew is put together. Okay. But that's askew like something is askew, you know? A-S-K-E-W. Sure. Um, yeah, askew. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Ginyu Force there. Hmm. Like you watch Dragon Ball. Anyways. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Pokemon through and through. That's right. We had a conversation. I am, Not loyal, a, I am yeah. loyal to a fault. Loyal to a fault. And if you only know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, I'm talking about Hero. And Hero, I mean, I'm dead serious. Promoted himself last. Like, so nice. But he, like, the content that he puts out is the... Honestly, like as far as the narration, it's, stuff. it's so like the con- the quality. I would, I would, I would argue the best. Just, just from a production quality that he does, like the amount of time. Like you think I put time and care. Like my videos are good, but like just the over the top production quality that this guy puts into his videos. Not only from a narration standpoint, but to sound effects, to choosing the music, to like, like he puts, he makes. It's almost like watching a movie. Okay. Like I mean, he rolls. I've, I've I seen. I don't videos. disagree with that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen videos where he rolls credits. Like it, he has an opening sequence. It blew my mind. It was so good. And uh, I mean, the quality is great. And not only that, what what really won me over with Hero, um, besides his down to earth just attitude and like the conversations that we've had, is yeah. is the fact that he really is for. Excuse me. I burped. <laughs> Is for we're live pal. giving yeah giving the appropriate credit where it is due. So I'm talking. He credits the authors. He credits. He goes so far as he 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 writes. He credits all of the sound effects that he uses. Like it is it is crazy how well he does this, and it's and it shows. Mm-hmm. Like just the quality is phenomenal. So if you guys like if you, if you just enjoy listening to horror narrations or anything like that, or even if you don't and you want to dabble into it, fuck spook you. Go listen to Hero Askew. Watch his videos. I'm telling you, they are phenomenal. You will not get a better experience anywhere else in the horror narration community. I promise. <clears throat> I'm going to pull his uh, Twitter handle up. Oh, know. it is uh, the underscore hero SQ. Like SQ. Uh, that might be his Instagram. I get it mixed up. Uh, so I'll do this. I believe that's right. And just kind of pull him up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to the ca- I'm gonna show it to the camera. Yeah. yeah. So uh, to make it easy on the people on the folks who are watching on YouTube yeah, or that's fine. whatever, I'm just gonna show it to the. Yeah, you come around here, don't trip. It'd really suck to be here at the end of the podcast. You trip over everything, cut the power. And just completely <laughs> ruin it all. So that's who we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, the hero. There we go. Oh, there he is. For those of you that are listening at home. <laughs> And yeah. not watching the podcast so like you should be. This is going to be one of the benefits of watching online. Yeah. On the YouTube channel, whatever. Uh, so there we go. That should be enough. <clears throat> what? I cropped us to the fuck out of here. Oh. I'm so sorry, I tried. It was the most, it was the daintiest of crop dustings because I didn't smell anything. <laughs> what happened as you walk? You got to wait for it. It's a delayed reaction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Bless my I heart. I tried. She said, I was like, oh, no, don't do it. And I was like, ah. And it just, ah. <laughs> that's, you yeah, I had to predict it. You had to predict it. <laughs> but uh, that's who we're talking about is the Hero Skew. Seriously, phenomenal creator. 
Um, and and just, I, we've talked a lot about horror narration. Yeah. But we're both big, obviously big fans <clears throat> of, of, of the horror community. Yeah. Horror content. Um, I'm one of the weirdos who, it, it helps put me to sleep. Um, just People here, do it, man. Just the story. Yeah. Just the story aspect of it. And I think that's why I like horror so much, is because there's so much rich uh, story behind a lot of horror. Yeah. Um uh, just to throw out something that most people uh, might be able to uh, relate to, The Conjuring. Mm-hmm. Such a good story. Yeah. It, it just so happens to be horror. Mm-hmm. But it is such an amazing story. Like, the storytelling in it, that, that's with... To me, I appreciate storytelling when it comes to pro wrestling. Yeah. Pro wrestling, if you can't, if you can't tell a story in a match, then you're just, you're just performing moves. Yeah. That people are going to remember for... Uh, and some people like that. Some people are just acrobatic, and that's all they want to do is go out and look flashy. Eh, exactly. I get it. <clears throat> exactly. To and me, it looks cool. To me, that's that's like somebody who is a drug addict. They they, they need a hit, Yeah. but then once it's done, they need the next hit. Yeah. But if you are involved in, um, or it's like somebody having a one-night stand, mm-hmm. you, you get... You get your fix of that interaction. Yeah. You get your brain filled with all those the chemicals dopamine. that feel good. But then the next day, you, you're kind of left even more. It's not true love. Yeah. You're just filled up with that immediate fix. Yeah. To me, that's like pro wrestling with flashy moves. You get filled up with that fix, but then as soon as the one, two, three is over, okay, I'm no, not I- left with anything. When, if you go back to 98, 99, Steve Austin and The Rock... As soon as they're done, it's yeah. like, I cannot wait to see that next. I, I can't wait to see what this story is going to have for me yeah. next week. I've got to <clears throat> tune in next week. What? I don't know if this... That's why ratings were up so yeah. high versus now. I don't know. I don't, if this is offensive, I'm sorry. But, like, it's kind of like a soap opera. It is. Like, you know, I, I don't mean that in a bad it, way. It, it, got that, it got that whole cliche soap opera stamp. Yeah. For a reason. Yeah. And like I said, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just that there's always something that's bringing you back every week and there's just something going on. And you're like, I, what? I can't believe he did that. Did you see that, you know, like, I don't If know. it's must-see TV, then yes, yeah. it is like a soap opera. Yeah. Excuse me. That used to be like a derogatory way of explaining <clears throat> it. Yeah. But, I mean, how many people kept tuning in to soap operas every week? My mom has not missed an episode of Days of Our Lives in... I don't know when did it air. <laughs> so my my stepmom was Days of Our Lives. My mom was yeah. Young and the Restless. Oh yeah. Oh my God! I can hear the, I can hear the theme right now. Dun, dun, the little piano theme. Oh, man. So are, uh, always so are the days, days of, of our, our lives. lives. God. Something about the hourglass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like sand through an hourglass. Like sand so, through an hourglass. So are the days so of are our, the days our lives. lives. My God. Yep. My mom still, I think, I think, you know, the little whatever there to, you know, for my mom to watch her when I go to work or whatever. I mean, I can't believe it. she's cut her hair. I remember when she had, she'd been through about 12 different hair, haircuts since she'd been on this show. And I was like, well, she's got to keep it fresh. She's been around yeah. for 45 years. Well, they've tried to kill her off like four times. They killed him off three times. And I was like, what? What are you, what is this? <clears throat> Soap operas, man. All right. Well, I think that's a that's a decent stopping point for the first episode. I think so. I think so. We're at a uh, hour and fifty two minutes. Yeah. Um, L- longer than I thought it was going to go. I don't know. I just figured we'd sit here and shoot the shit and just be like, all right, GG out. GG. Like yeah, it'd be like an hour and two minutes or something. You know. I was like, man, it didn't it does not feel like it's been two hours almost. No. No, that's a lie. It does. But it's went. It, it, it's been I'm easy. Sorry. It's been, it, I'm no, sorry, it's, I'm not a good fucking co-host. No, it's been easy. <laughs> I'll ram my co-host off. Co-host. 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 Ram my co-host off. <laughs> no, it's been it's been an easy two hours. Yeah, it's been a really easy two hours, which I I kind of felt like that's how this was gonna be. Yeah. So. Cool, man. Well, that was the first and final episode of. <laughs> first and final. <laughs> that was it. Not doing this shit again. Nope. Nope, this sucked. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I guess our mission is to encourage you guys to create stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are we going to do like, because I know I had mentioned it and we never really settled on it. Do we want to give them like homework? 
Oh, yeah. Just something, I don't know. Do you have something in mind? I don't. I, I, just, I kind of forgot about it and got into the whole swing of things. <laughs> like, right. we mentioned it before we started, pod, like, literally 15 minutes before we hit record. Like, yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, kind of an idea. Well, we yeah, can, so, so we don't have to do it today. We can talk yeah. about what it is we're, we're, we want to do for the yeah, future episodes. I think, I think I want to do something like that. Something so, so, so explain what it is you want to do. I just as far as homework Well, so goes. what I mean by homework, I, I, just something to get you guys creating. Um, it doesn't, like, like it would. It might be something as simple as cook a new meal this week. And something for, for us and... Yeah, and, something and, for us and you. And yeah. you guys to interact with about. Yeah. Like, create something, share it on Twitter, share mm-hmm. it on Instagram, whatever it is we're yeah. on. And, like, let us interact with you guys and, and just talk about what it is you're working on. Yeah. Something like that. Speaking of the hero, skew if we go for the cooking, boy, has he got some bomb ass like so he posts he he posts on food instagram does he oh my god it looks so good like it's oh man really oh dude do you just trust me look it up <laughs> his okay. instagram it oh it looks so i get hungry every time i see it i'm gonna have to check that out yeah um so i would i would love for him to partake in that and you know oh go cook something new this week and just see what he he makes you good you checking your balance no, I wonder what my receipt was. Oh, that's fine. It was you can share with the class. Nagoya. Oh, that's I right. I ordered I just... uh, the chicken and steak filet plate. Um, hibachi chicken and steak. I hear you. That's, that's what I had for dinner. Nice. By myself. I had... In public. What did I have? Oh, I had taco pizza. I made taco pizza. Taco pizza? Yeah. Well, I was like, I want to make pizza, but I didn't have... I didn't have enough mozzarella to really like make a good pizza, and I didn't have pepperoni or any anything else to really put on it. So I was like, I like tacos, so I made taco meat. I put taco cheese on it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, dude, it was good. Ooh, it was okay. Good. Yeah. Back, back to hero. He does good. Oh, amazing food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I'm telling you, you will not walk away from his page not hungry. Like, oh, it's every time I see it. See, when it, whenever I see something like that, it makes me want to like. Go to the kitchen, cook some kind of meat. Yeah. Open up the spice cabinet and go. What twenty seven spices yeah. am I gonna put on this? Well, that's how I like to cook, anyways. Like I don't, I just, I just grab and put and like, cause I don't know, I don't measure. I hate measuring. Like I hate sticking to it. Like that's why I did not cook for my whole life up until like yeah. a year and a half ago. You gotta follow that recipe and everything. Two tablespoons of yeah. this. Like, I don't even have half of this crap in my house. Yeah. Much less am I going to take the time to measure it out. Yeah. I just, I need to be I need to be able to eyeball it. Yep. And it needs to be good. And, and normally it has not failed me to do it that Same. way. Same. We're going to be like, this is the best lasagna I've ever had, or this is the best chicken or whatever. And I'm like, literally all I do is I just go salt, and I'm like, you know, grinding it, and I'm like, right. that looks about right. Like, that that looks like enough salt for this this food. My hash browns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I do. Like hash browns, I'm like, all right, uh, some pepper. Uh, garlic. Yeah. I'll just do enough. Oh, man. Oh, garlic. Man, same. Garlic, everything. I, put I started garlic. putting everything. chili. I started putting a little chili powder. Ooh, nice. I was like, all right, let's do a little bit of chili powder. Yeah. I don't know that I can tell that much of a difference. I might not be using it, enough. It might give it a little bit of a kick. Just, 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 just enough. Just enough. And then I'll do... Um, uh, I do a little wash your sister sauce. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love the wash your sister sauce. Just, a, just a little bit. Um, I don't have a sister, so you know it's fun to say that. I do. wash your sister sauce. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe you put some Worcestershire sauce on it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I just I make it nice and crispy on both sides and lemon pepper. God, I love lemon pepper. Oh, okay. Oh, so good. Well, I mean, on whatever. Like I just yeah. I just I put that shit on everything. You know. Yeah. <laughs> But, but no, and I'll I'll do that, and sometimes I'll crack my eggs and mix it in with the hash browns. Yeah, I make like just like a mush. Yeah. Um, but here lately, I've been separating my hash browns from my eggs. I've been doing fried eggs. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I normally don't do fried eggs, but I started doing fried eggs just because it's easier. On like I've got a like I cook the bacon on the griddle, and I'm like I don't, don't want to pull out a separate pan to have to do the whole Ramsey mix and all that. To, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just I just crack the shit on there and go. <laughs> nice salt pepper at the end and we're good you're good um that's good oh but uh now we've gotten off topic yeah so anything like just i want 
I, I want something to get you guys creating. That can be that can be like maybe maybe we can get them, give them a writing prompt one week. You know, maybe you're not a writer, but give it a try. Just you know, let your mind just freaking go. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of freedom. There's a lot of release of anxiety. Yeah. in writing. Well, and if if you think about it, Mr. Fitness, it's it's exercising a muscle. Absolutely. You think your creativity is a muscle. So like, if you're trying to work your your arms and you want to do you you're gonna do your, your triceps, you're gonna do you're gonna do stuff. And if you want to do your biceps, you're gonna do different stuff. You're gonna so, do curls, curls. And then if you do your biceps, you're gonna do either press downs or see. You know, so like you can think of your creativity push, as like this. Push activity. There's different parts of this creativity. So if you write, it can expand different parts of your creativity, even though you don't write. Or if you cook, like you know what I'm saying. You see the analogy I'm working. You with? can build that muscle. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's what I'm trying to get at. Is it's <clears throat> yeah. If you think you suck at writing, yeah, write a little bit. Well, and you might find that as you write, it opens up a different creative opportunity for you to go if, if you're a drawer for instance you start writing and then you're like wait a minute oh okay oh wait no I never thought of this and then you start drawing it, it works different muscles different creative muscles right see so like to me like writing mm -hmm. would be would, would come natural and it would, it would come easy to me same so like just if somebody said create a story start yeah. wherever the crap you want to mm-hmm I, it wouldn't be hard for me to just go, all right, cool. Yeah. Most, or not most, but a lot of people would be like, I don't know where to start. Yeah. I'd be like, mm, light switch, the color gray, uh, smoke alarm, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to conjure up something. Yeah. And it's not going to take me very long. But then then if I asked you, hey, draw me draw me a fantasy creature of your choosing. If you said draw, yeah. now that is not my strong suit. See? Yeah. I would have to get really creative, but I would have to start exercising that muscle. But think of it this way: what if what if you were to write about that fi fantasy creature to then draw? You could describe it. It's different muscles that I mean, it's it's different muscles that all achieve the same mm. end goal. That's good because I could I could describe the crap out of something. Yep. To draw it would be different, but to have a a, a rock solid image of that yep. thing in my head. It might be a little bit easier to draw, yeah. But I, I'm not a I'm not an artist. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know how to draw. I don't. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, and that's the beauty of what we're trying to do here. Is but you don't. That's have what I'm to saying. Be, yeah, yeah. M maybe maybe I have to challenge myself in the middle yeah. of doing this. Yeah. And I have to start drawing. Like that scares yeah. the crap out of me. <laughs> I, I I would not want to show anything that I drew to uh, yeah. anybody watching that's right fine. now. But. Maybe that's where I step out of my comfort zone and yeah. give myself a little bit of homework and just kind of go to town. And we can, I think we can start that next week since it, it, we dropped it so soon. Like if something, yeah. seriously, I brought up right before we hit record. So I, I don't know. It's just something fun to get involved just to see what you guys are doing and, and to keep us all just, keep us all creating. Creating Absolutely. shit. Creating stuff. Another exactly. shot. <laughs> yeah. That's the final one of the night. What? <laughs> I said another shot. That's the final one of the night. Remember, like two hours ago, when I was like, oh, "Bingo! If you if you drink, you, you take a shot every time I say create shit." Oh, okay. That's the name of the final podcast. shot of the night. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. That I guess that was since I said it again. I, no, I get but, it. Uh, oh, that's another one. Yeah. So, but well, cool. I don't want to end it. Like this has been fun, man. I know this has been a. Bl I'm I am looking forward to the next uh, 99 episodes. Yeah, we're only doing 100. Not that's necessarily. Fine. Okay. I, I'm looking. I, I'm just saying. I'm gonna give <laughs> my. I'm gonna let my. I'm gonna allow myself to be excited for the next 99. Okay. Once we hit 100, fuck if it. We, if we, yeah, I'm not gonna be happy. Yeah. I'm gonna be pissed that you decided to do this. I don't have to be. I'm, I'm gonna release myself from having to feel happy. Yeah. Well, it's just you like, guys are gonna get me jubilant for the next 100 episodes yeah. or 99. Yeah. But after that, I'm not making any promises. Yeah. Fair enough. That's fine. That's a solid. I can I can take that. That's a lot of hours. It is a lot of hours. I mean, you talk about two times a hundred is two hundred. Two hundred. How many work weeks is that? So like uh, two hundred divided by forty. Five. Five. Five work. Wait. Five two, work weeks. Yeah, five work weeks is you take two hundred divided by forty. Really? Forty times five is two hundred. Oh. Well, yeah. that's not that bad. <laughs> so he, goes, he goes, oh, well, okay, I can do that. That's Maybe I need cool. to be happy longer. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you good? Yeah, that's. I think that's it. That's all I've got to say this week. Cool. Well, until next time, we've been the Scottish Hush Puppy, and he's been...
tra- uh, that's your tag. I don't uh, stay spooky. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't plan this clearly. Yeah. We yeah. planned the intro like, oh yeah, I'm Josh and it's Trey. We create stuff. No, we didn't do the outro. We're just like, fuck it, we'll get there when we get there. No, I've got my sign off line. <laughs> I figured I'd lay I it on too. It just doesn't mesh very well. <laughs> I've been the Scottish Hush Puppy, and you've been Stay Spooky. Like <laughs> <laughs> You've been Trey. Yeah. <laughs> All Until right, next time, my... Oh, Until next time, my ghastly gang, stay spooky. What about Frank and Friends? That's Frank and Friends in the beginning. It's ghastly gang at the end. If you'd watch my videos... <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you uh, next week, I suppose. Yeah. Same time. Peace.